Okay, now hello, guys. <laughs> I was like, wait a second. I think I'm muted again. I missed you guys. I missed you. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I can see I was like singing that song right before you guys came into chat too. I was like, my mind every two seconds is just like, but she was right, Sarah. <laughs> and dude, that song's been stuck in my head ever since I watched that episode. It was so freaking good. But uh, yeah, what's up, guys? Hello, welcome to the stream. And um, yeah, I'm excited to play this game. I've heard like a crazy amount of good things about this game and yeah it just kind of popped up with a content warning so i figured we could go through them together uh for those of you who are not um like familiar with this game um also there was another thing i wanted to say before we start too so last time i unfortunately got um <laughs> I got age restricted because there was some gore. Oh, whoa, the chat does work. I also did this too. I was trying to get the a chat box in case I do have to edit stuff. Because last time the freaking stream got age restricted and I could like, I think edit out the scene that had the gore in it. But like, it just like whenever you edit streams, it takes away the chat. And like, I don't know, I enjoy the chat so much. Like, it's one of my favorite parts of streams. So it's like, it just feels lame to like take that out. So I decided just to leave it as is, but then I saw People in like other countries, like Australia, I think, said that the video was just like restricted for them in general. It didn't even matter what their age. Because at first I was like, oh, you know, like <laughs> 12 year olds, 12 year olds probably shouldn't be watching this video anyway. So it was like, you know, I, I get you YouTube. But then I found out, yeah, it was restricted for people in like different countries. So um, I have the chat box on screen in case we get age restricted. So the chat will still be <laughs> alive. Also, I have a peanut picture I'm going to throw up whenever <laughs> there's too much gore. <laughs> just to try to see if I can, um, you know, <laughs> just to try to see if I can, um, whatchamacallit, uh, avoid getting age restricted. But I'm hoping it'll be like copyright because I feel like, I don't know, now that I've done like the FNAF movie and has been, I feel like I have a pretty good understanding of copyright now and how to avoid it. And I'm hoping it, like, I don't know, gore and stuff might be kind of similar, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, thank you so much, Mimi Q lover. Thanks for being a member for 13 months. Hope you enjoyed Japan. We missed you. I missed you guys, too. Oh, I got to show you guys something. Look, I got a little food. Ah, oh, isn't he cute? I got him from a claw machine. He's from Milgram, if you guys don't know. We were, like, walking. Um, I can't remember where I was. It might be, like, Akihabara or something. We were walking by these, like, crane machines, and I saw the Milgram logo, and I was like, oh. <gasps> I was like, oh my god, Milgram merch? And I got him on the first try. I was so fucking excited because he's like one of my favorite characters. It's kind of sad. It's like the traumatized season two version, but <laughs> I still love him so much. <laughs> but um, I did get it on video, me getting him. Hopefully we'll be able to do like a Japan vlog. I don't know. I don't know exactly how good the quality is. We should have brought mics. That's the main thing. Because I think we were watching some of our footage, like when we went to a sushi place. And the audio was a little, <laughs> it was a little rough. <laughs> but I think some stuff that we did, like the snow monkeys and like um, some of the crane machines and stuff should be still watchable. So hopefully I can still get most of it, you know, viewable to you guys. But thank you, Dar Actual Trash. Be sure to slay and slay. Oh my god, all of the above. Yes. And thank you, Wolf Allen. Respectless is stuck in my head. Dude, all the songs have just been like on constant loop, stuck in my head. I feel like uh, right now it's been uh, You Didn't Know. And I've already watched the, uh, what is it, the seventh episode too. So Out for Love has been stuck in my head <laughs> all the time. It's like, it just like, I don't know. I feel like the songs keep kind of like collabing with each other in one way it's like i'll get like you didn't know stuck in my head but then it'll switch into hell is forever and then somehow it'll switch into like out for love and then it just kind of keeps going and going but thank you uh rose graham for being a member for 15 months plush update i got another deadpan kyoko plush ah uh, cute i don't know if i saw any kyoko plushes while i was in japan i did find a bunch of uh danganronpa merch though some of it was kind of mimi but uh yeah uh let's go ahead and um get into this also yeah so it's a horror game not intended for all audiences. So the Princess contains flickering image effects as well as parallax effect that are on rare occasions cause motion sickness in players. Either of these cause health issues for you, you can disable them in the game's preferences. Oh, that's nice. You can disable them. I didn't actually read that part. I just kind of saw content warning and I was like, yeah, should probably read this <laughs> just in case. Honestly, it depends on how bad, but sometimes really bright 
flickering light can kind of mess me up too. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Whatever horrors. Oh yeah, thank you. Gladys Zebra. Hi, Weeby. This will be my first and probably last time super chatting you. I fell in your love. I fell in love with your content from Raincoat Streams. I even made Danganronpa executions for the detectives. I don't have a way to show them. Ah, oh, you don't. Do you have like an art account or something on like Twitter or anything? I would uh, love to check it out. That would be so cool to see. I always love like I don't know seeing Danganronpa executions for like characters in other uh, games or series. And yeah, it'd be great to see it and um, for like the Raincoat you know cast too and thank you dust part for becoming a part of the kinjo cult oh kinjo cult leader slay whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have heart and see them through there are no premature endings there are no wrong decisions there are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings this is a love story so i can fix her <laughs> yeah i heard people saying that um i don't know it's like kind of a unique take it seems like on um let me see on some of a uh, which I call it I guess a kind of visual novel I heard people saying like there's no game like it and I don't know I've just heard really really good stuff about this so I've been wanting to really wanting to check it out but um yeah I think I'll probably be okay with the flashing lights it's only if it's like really really bad but um I can always put peanut on the screen I guess if um you know <laughs> if uh gets too bad wait stay on the stay on the title screen is there, um, is there going to be, like, something special that comes up? Huh. We shall see. Oh, thank you, Bledro P. I've been using your analysis videos to make my fan gan. It's going to be on AO3 and eventually a game or a comic. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, you should, uh, comment, like, I guess you could send it in the chat or, uh, comment at the end of the video if you want to see what, if you want to say, like, what the name of it is. Yeah, I'll try to, uh, check it out at some point. Let's, um... I guess we can go ahead and get started. I'm not really sure how long it'll take for uh, something to happen. I know a lot of times games will kind of have like, I don't know, stuff that'll pop up on the screen. Remember Cooking Companions was like that. Oh, I don't have any social media other than YouTube. Ah, oh, you should make like a Tumblr or like a Twitter or something. I feel like Tumblr especially. Oh, what the? <laughs> okay. <laughs> there she is. Aw, oh, she's so pretty. Look at that. That's the face of somebody ready to slay. <laughs> oh man but i feel like tumblr is pretty good for um posting art and stuff i feel like twitter can be good too twitter can just be a lot <laughs> i guess t tumblr can be a lot too it's been a while since i've used it so maybe i just have like rose tinted glasses about it now okay let's go ahead and uh start it new game chapter one the hero and the princess i don't know if this will be too different than the demo you're on a path in the woods oh yeah and at the end of that path is a cabin. And this. in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. Oh, I can kind of like move, look around a little bit. That's cool. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I kind of forgot that I had like actual uh, voice acting this game too. Oh. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. You have to put an end to her. Wait, does that mean no more cats? Because that's that's all I'm actually going to have a problem with. Oh, explore? But how can a princess locked away in a basement in the world if you... Oh, I think I accidentally chose something. My bad. Oh my... Oh, wow. There's so many choices. Holy hell. How can a princess locked away in a basement in the world? If you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. Have any evidence to back this up? You considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked. That's what I'm thinking. She definitely seems kind of evil, though. <laughs> but I also, you know, I think we could get probably like a, uh, some kind of, you know, traumatic backstory that'd make us sympathize with her, right? Right? Killing a princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing it. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Look, I'll go to the cabin and talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say, then maybe I'll slay, uh, slay her, but I'm not committing to anything until I've had the chance to meet her face to face. Oh my god, there's so many options. I feel overwhelmed. Turn around and leave. <laughs> Just don't interact with this guy at all. So I've always wanted to off a monarch. <laughs> Viva la revolution! <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I've sold. Let's get this over with. Let me... I think I'm gonna do this one. 
You ever think she wants to end the world because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Causality doesn't matter here because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics yeah. <laughs> over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. I was thinking that, I was like, this is like a chicken and egg situation. Well, are you sure? Yes, of course. You do your job and slay her. I'm like, some of me kind of wants to slay her just to see what happens. I feel like, I can't remember what I did in the demo. It's been so long, my memory is so bad. But I feel like I might have like, what's the word? I feel like I might have not slayed her and then the world ended. <laughs> we were like stuck in some time loop or something. But I kind of wonder like if I do do what he says, like will it really be the happy ending you say it will be narrator? Oh, uh, but how can a princess locked away in the basement in the world? Okay, I guess we can keep talking to him if uh, we keep doing all these options. Let's see. Do we get some kind of reward for doing this? That's true. Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. You gonna tell me what it is, bro? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's very uh, <laughs> undescriptive. How many ev Yeah, if you have any evidence back this up. already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important task? You've made it this far, you might as well reach the end of your journey. Man, this <laughs> he's not really giving us an answer. <laughs> if you don't tell me why she's dangerous, I'm not going to kill her. She's not dangerous. She's oh. just a princess. The danger comes if she gets out, which she will unless you do something about it. Okay. Okay, what happens if she gets out? I want specifics. The more specifics you have, the harder it will be for you to do this very important job. She's a princess. People will listen to her, because listening to her is in their nature. And when they do, everything will come crashing down. Killing a princess seems kind of seems kind of bad, though. Are you a monarchist? <laughs> is slaying a princess that much worse than slaying a fisherman or a miller or a seamstress? If anything, slaying a princess is much better than slaying a seamstress. Seamstresses <laughs> contribute something of value to society. Damn! <laughs> you fucking British, mate! <laughs> oh, God. Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules. No matter how much I wish I did. <laughs> Slay count five. Oh my god, it's gonna be a lot for this game. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot. Okay, I guess I'll just go talk to her. Uh, should I do the rest of the questions? I guess we only have like a few more. You ever consider them? Maybe. Of course I haven't. <laughs> Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Like nihilists or <laughs> very, very evil people, but. Surely you're not one of those, right? <laughs> right? Did I choose the wrong person? He's so sassy. Okay, can you tell me what my prize is going to be for it's doing a good a job? Secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. I feel like it's like actually a bad reward, because it's not being specific. It's like, I'm going to bless you with the sweet release of death. <laughs> That's your reward. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll go talk I to guess her. We'll just have to see what happens. But a word of warning: if you go in prepared to hear her out, she could easily trap you in her web of lies. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Then each and every one of us is doomed. Okay. So sure, go talk to her. See how that turns out for all of us. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not gonna go through with this, right? Mm. She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. 
Oh, he's doing the... Oh, yeah, there was, like, these voices, too, in the, um... Whatchamacallit. In the demo, too. It kind of seemed like... I guess it was, like, different parts of our, like, personality or something. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, no other options. I wonder if I have to get through a playthrough in order to get other options. This seemed kind of meta, if I remember correctly. Kevin looks cozy. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is Does a pristine it? blade. Does it look cozy? <laughs> I don't know if I would describe this as cozy. More creepy, you know, especially the no furniture thing. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay, uh, I guess I'll take the blade. <sighs> we'll see, we'll see. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I feel like I need a game plan going into this. I think... Hmm. Do I trust her or do I trust the narrator? I do think she got me pretty good last time. <laughs> but she was pretty. <laughs> I remember that part, so I was like, maybe I can. Maybe I can fix her. Okay. We'll just take the blade for now. Oh, they give you a little door to the blade on your cursor. Open, That's cool. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. Her voice oh, crap. carries up the stairs. My bad. Let me, uh... This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot, of rot filters from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> Just try to talk me into it more. Just think about it. You're probably doing her a favor. Who's there? Oh. Oh my god, that voice. Hey. <laughs> um, hello, ma'am. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Sounds like mother. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. <laughs> Hi! Just checking in on you. Hey, I think I'm like here to kill you or something. She's hot. <laughs> she does sound hot. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to trust her. I think we can fix it. I, that's what I put in the title, and that's what I should try to go with. I'm a very indecisive person. But I say we try to fix her. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. Oh yeah, she already busted out of one of these chains, didn't she? I think I kind of remember that too. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? <laughs> like on fixing? <laughs> Thank you. I think it's going to work out. Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? No, girl. What? What? <laughs> Why would you think that? Okay. What? No way. Why would you even think that? Okay, yeah, you got me. I'm here to slay you. No, no, no. I haven't decided yet. I'm just here to talk. Steal your nerves and step forward. Okay. I'm like, we gotta... Okay, we gotta... <laughs> I just don't really know anything about her, so I don't know how to fix her yet. Why would you- why would you even think that? I kind of do like that answer, just because it's kind of Mimi and Delulu. Just like me. You know, she needs to accept me for my true personality of being Delulu. <laughs> what? That giant knife you're holding kind of gives oh. it away, doesn't it? Girl, I have an apple in my pocket! I was just gonna peel it, like... Making so many judgments. The blade. Of course she doesn't want to talk. Oh, yeah. Who'd want to have a conversation at knife point? I think I fucked up already. <laughs> I think I messed up already. Don't you dare. Okay, well, at least we can drop it. I was like, I shouldn't have brought it down if I was going to talk to her. But, like, she does seem kind of evil, you know? It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Drop it. Tighten your grip. Okay. Uh, let's drop it. Let's drop it. We gotta. We gotta build some trust. Blade tumbles out of your <laughs> trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Plus, it's kind of fun to annoy the narrator since he's so sassy. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. 
Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. <laughs> He's so pissed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. <sighs> Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, our uh, hand is kind of like monster looking like. I wonder. It's like, are we a furry? <laughs> so here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Oh, my gosh. We're in a relationship? <laughs> well, you said it, not me, girl. Yeah, it's uh, pretty awkward. A, rela a relationship? <laughs> Literally me. Are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? I'm here because you're supposed to end the world. There's people out here you think you're going to end the world. What do you have to say about that? What's your name? How long have you been down here? Why do you, do you know why I'm here to kill you? Okay, we've talked enough. It's time to do some killing. Okay, let's get her name first. She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Okay. Note the lack of detail. You can't trust her. <laughs> Thank you, narrator son. Okay. How? Let's see if she's going to say anything about why she's in the world. There's people out here who think you're going to end the world. Don't just tell her. <laughs> well, you're not giving me any answers. <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt <laughs> anyone. I like the world, I think. God, those eyes look so unhinged. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. Hmm. Just how long has she been down here? Yeah, for real. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? That's what I've been saying, girl. Okay, let me move my head, because it's covering up the text. Just notice that. Do -do. Wait, come on. Boo -boo -boo. Here we go. There we go. This is a little bit better. Uh, what are you gonna do if I let? Yeah, what are you gonna do if I let you out of here? Princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. I kind of do want to know how long she's been down here for. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay <laughs> me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. Uh, she's such a girl boss. Where do I, yeah, where should I move this? Maybe I should move it down here. I'll just try to keep the question or the answers like sort of up here. There's just a lot going on. Cause yeah, it'll cover up the options if I have it up there. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation and there's a reason you've listened. So I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Okay. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. Well, she's kind of smart. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim? The princess clearly incapable of ending the world. Or do you trust whoever put me here? <laughs> I like a reality, I don't trust either of them. She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. All for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure if there's anywhere else that I could move this to. Uh, my head. I might just have to, I don't know. I don't know where to move this to. I guess I can move it down here and then move the Dono widget up here? Maybe? Does that work? But then I'm covering some of the text. Oh, this is so confusing! Okay, well at least I'm not 
covering up most of the options anymore. Sorry guys, I'm trying to figure this out. Okay, a relationship, are you coming on to me? How would I get you out of here? How long have you been down here? I don't trust either of these people, bro. Uh, okay. Let's just flirt with her. A relationship? Are you coming on to me? Don't jump to any <laughs> weird conclusions. We're two people who have met each other. By definition, we have a relationship. I figured that was what she was getting at, but you know, I can dream. How much you get out of here? How long have you been down here? Too long. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Okay. I think I do remember this too. Oh god, I think I did help her last time and she killed me. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. <sighs> it's gonna happen again. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. <laughs> I just right? keep playing this game. Oh yeah, now I remember what she wanted to do. I think she cut her hand off. I think that was what got me age restricted. I was like, what if I'm... <laughs> I could just keep doing like, I do like 10 playthroughs of this and I keep trusting her every single time. I'm like, no guys, this time she won't kill me. She is. I'm sure of it. Okay, we've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Slay, <laughs> Slay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a bit. We can get to know each other better. While I decide what to do, keep her locked away. I guess I could talk to her some more, because I think last time I did give her the knife, but I think she, I think she sawed off her hand, if I remember correctly. Let's talk more. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. The next has been episode is on Tuesday, since I see people asking about it. I basically always post on Tuesday. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. Mm -hmm. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't... I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one. Yikes. Okay. Oh, locking her in the basement? <sighs> <laughs> I feel like I'm so screwed at it. Whatever. Let's just help her get out of here again. Oh, for the love. <laughs> like, didn't you already do this last time, you dumb bitch? Maybe I did. Good. But maybe it'll be different now. I'm glad you've come to your senses. This is the full game. You're making a huge mistake. I think we can successfully get her out this time. No. You're doing and get the married. Life. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a time. <gasps> They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Oh god, I don't want to turn my back on you. Especially if you leave the knife down here. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides me cutting you out of literally? I was like, she definitely broke free from one of these chains too. I don't know why she's covering that up. Well, yeah, she would have. I know she's got like a monster form or something. I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key is still lying around somewhere up there. And if not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. If there isn't a key, do you have any ideas besides cutting you out of here? That would be fine. I can lose an arm. <laughs> oh, she's crazy. Just like I like him. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Mm. You hear the click of a lock oh, shit. sliding into place. Is someone else here? <laughs> the narrator. Was it the narrator? I'm sick of your shit, hero. I'm locking you down there. Hey, let me out! Try the door, return to the bottom. Let's try you the try door. The door but yeah. It's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. 
Let me out of here. So please are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. <laughs> You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Dude, it's definitely the narrator outside of that door. Okay, I guess we're returning. Make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed well, to. Well, it's not my fault she's pretty, man. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? She is kind of slaying in the good way so far. She's pretty cool. She's like so like level-headed and badass. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Jesus. Save the princess, slay the princess. Let's save her. Let's save her. I'm getting my peanut picture ready, though, because I think it's probably going to come up pretty soon. Against <laughs> your better judgment, <clears throat> place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. <laughs> Wait a second. Let me, uh... Let me make him smaller so you guys can see him. Yay! <laughs> Censored! I hope you're happy, YouTube. <laughs> you cut into her flesh. Jesus Christ. It's so bad. You can, like, see the bone. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she does it so nonchalantly, too. Like, she's just like, yeah, normal Tuesday for me. You know, it's whatever. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free oh my from her God. bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. She literally had yeah, it even like budge at all, not even like a ow, <laughs> you know? She doesn't even really seem human. I don't think we're human though, based off of our hand. It kind of looks like monster like. I feel like this might be like a hat full bird situation, you know, where it's like she's the only human in this world left or something. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Oh my god, she is so cool though. Like, thank you. <laughs> No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. Uh, as the princess oh. approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Oh, what the fuck? Is he controlling me? Wait. I didn't actually do something, right? Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. What the hell? He's controlling me now. Oh, we are like an orc or something. Watch me. Oh, war! Oh, warner! <laughs> I thought this was a little too easy. Uh. Your body oh, shit. lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive. Oh my god! So is the narrator <laughs> see a personality in my head too? <laughs> slay, slay, slay! Oh, resist! Nice. The blade move the blade you're doing your best to help me aren't you i can see the conflict in your eyes i'll oh. make this quick oh no i think she's about to slay she steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands maybe i'll see you in another <sighs> life <laughs> i should have known this would happen <laughs> and then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Uh, well, she... She did without pain. And I think that's a win. <laughs> that's a win! I think, you know, we helped her get a little bit nicer. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. She is such an interesting character, man. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark. And you die. I hope it was worth it. Chapter 2, The Prisoner. We're in a time loop or something. You're on a path yep. in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happy al happened already? How could he control me, man? I'm starting to wonder, did he, is he like, <laughs> I guess it was like we had something like, um, 
I don't know. <laughs> Wait, Boyby. Neck bleeding out. We can still get lunch sometime. <laughs> what are you do doing for Thursday at 1 o'clock? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you bastard. You're in for it now. Oh, yes! Tricks. <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? We've just met for the first time. I'm just the new voice in your head, mate. Don't forget what he did to us the last oh, yeah. time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here. For us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. <sighs> I guess now at least we know he'll control us. I don't really know if there's a... Uh... I don't know how awake we would beat the narrator. I guess we just gotta keep trying. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. I guess I might get new voices every time we, like, do another loop. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you <laughs> to keep secrets from me. You know we're all the same person, right? That's why I got the same voice. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large. I told you about the stakes of this situation less than a minute ago. Let's assume I'm telling the truth and all this really did already happen. Why should I listen to you? Why should I bother to do anything? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Mm -hmm. You died last time, which probably only happened <laughs> because you didn't listen to me. It's, the moral of the story is I'm always right. The absolute irony. Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? You practically forced the princess to kill us. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do. <laughs> which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self-delusions the three of you are crafting. Calling me Delulu, man? <laughs> the narrator is kind of funny, though. But this is a thought experiment, so I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. If I did practically force the princess to kill you, it was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? Because if I really did what you said I did, you probably deserved it. I'm a professional, after all. I'm just, you know, the coolest person ever, after all. Sure Bruh. you are. Anyway. I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? <laughs> if you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? I'm trying to think, there's like all those like time travel like theories, like what was the one in like Steins Gate that was like I think it was based off something weird. I guess it's like different dimensions or something like that. That's kinda of what my assumption. I don't know, I think like that always makes the most like sense to me when it comes to like time travel. Like we're just going to a different dimension, but for some reason I guess this dimension person remembers it. If it's the latter. What do you think happened after you died? That kind of stuff is always really confusing. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. <laughs> yeah, for real. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. I was like, for real? Oh, how I wish that were the case. But if the princess weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet, here we are. You're talking in circles. No, I'm talking in facts. Lord. Okay, let's talk to the princess. Proceed to the cabin. Uh, we'll try to talk to her. Just be quick about it. The only reason she was even able to kill me last time was because I lit her. All she did was slit my throat. How is she supposed to end the world? Yeah, it's like, we didn't see any, like, crazy powers or anything last time. Who locked her in the basement? What is this? He's not gonna fucking answer. I was like, I don't even know if there's any point of me asking questions anymore. I'll do the first one. You just can. <laughs> Believe me, I wish I could tell you more, but you just have to yeah, trust right. that what I'm saying is true, and that, despite it all, you're fully up to the task that's been given to you. You haven't given us an ounce of proof. You do know that, right? What proof could you possibly ask for? Literally anything. Yeah, for real. L literally one single answer, not just a vague, like, well, bad things will happen. <sighs> Fine. Oh. Check your pockets. Oh my god, we actually get something? You 
Put your hands oh. in your pockets and pull out an envelope <laughs> with the words, the evidence, written across the front. Did you just write this just now, narrator San? Within, you find a note in your handwriting. It reads, the princess will end the oh, world if you okay. don't stop her. This is an immutable truth. Okay, it's my handwriting. I thought he just wrote this down really quickly. I was like, yeah, man, for sure. This is definitely 100% proof. It's like, you just wrote this down and handed it to me. That doesn't prove anything. How do we know you didn't just forge our handwriting? I wish I could tell you more, but there are some rules I have to follow for all our sakes. <laughs> Please Bro should just be a liar. trust that these rules are in place for a reason. I'm on your side. You mean you're on our side as long as we do what you tell us to? Mm. Exactly. Because you not doing what I tell you to do means you're putting the world at risk. I think we've got everything out of him we're gonna get. I guess it is some proof, but I feel like, yeah, forging handwriting is kind of like pretty decently easy to do. I don't know, it's not like completely immov like immovable proof. Who locked her in the basement? What is this place? Ugh, he's right. not gonna fucking now, answer. If you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. Oh, turn around and leave. I think I did that last time. Let's go to the cabin. Let's talk to her. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. She will cheat. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. She will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't even think she did anything last time. I feel like she was just like, oh, you're here to kill me? Cool. <laughs> I won't let you do that, but you know, whatever. Yes, yes. Don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. Wink. Did you just say wink mm -hmm. out loud? <laughs> well, I'm just a detached voice. What am I supposed to do? No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. Okay. Yeah, it's a horror, or a scary game. God forbid a woman does anything. For real. The interior of oh, the what the? It's less a cozy woodland retreat, but oh. more like a dungeon. Yeah. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. Okay, yeah, the last one was <laughs> much more cozy compared to this one. Um... Gosh, I guess I should just leave the knife up here this time. I do think we're probably like hopping dimensions or something. The only furniture of note is an iron table bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I think I literally could have made it. Well, I guess I don't know how I would have gotten her out if I didn't have the knife. We'll see. We're not gonna take the knife this time though. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Oh yeah, that's true. Definitely did. Does a mirror not count as furniture of note mm. to you? Because it should. I think that mirror is the is the the clue to solving everything. There isn't a mirror. There's a table, the, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. Oh. There's nothing else in here. Uh, you can't see it. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I think you know what we have to do. Why would you lie about that? What's the point? I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. Oh, I do want to see myself. Let's not get caught up in vanity. Am I a bird man? Take a closer look. Come on. Whatever it is, he must not want us to know about it. But I want to see myself. Is this some sort of rehearsed bit? Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What Dude, this whole game is just the narrator gaslighting us. This whole cabin is different. Approach. Yes, I want to take. Approach the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. Bro, he is really going on with this. He's really trying. It's like, it's just a wall. There's no mirror there. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub oh, your what hand the fuck? against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. I just turned to wall again? But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Hmm. Maybe it'll be back. Weird. <laughs> Weird. Very different. This whole cabin is different from last time. Yes, but why? Did he change it? Or did it change all on its own? Maybe it's a different cabin entirely. Now isn't that a novel thought? Maybe you haven't actually been here before. 
I hope this means you'll finally drop your ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. Stop thinking you're like an isekai character, okay? Get on with so it. focus up. Don't get distracted by minor details. Okay, let's just I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. What? We're in a dangerous situation, and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. That was why we died last time! Come on, voice in my head! Are you sure? She killed us with it last time. What if she turns it against us again? Yes, I'm sure. And I've already got oh. a plan for that. Okay. Still with those past <laughs> life delusions, are we? I think part of that plan is don't give the world any monstrosity your only weapon. Because unless you've decided to arm the princess, I don't think you need to worry about her having a weapon. I like how we're just like talking to ourselves. <laughs> Peachy, we'll be fine. Okay. I'm trusting you. Okay. Hey, don't I get yeah, for him? Don't I get to say that this was like a choice game? Normally, yeah, but not about this. Call it a reflex. <laughs> we take the knife as we go. It's okay. Fun. You do exactly that, sweeping the knife from the table before proceeding to the basement. Don't worry about it. We have a knife, so what? It's not like we have to use it. No, you don't have to do anything, but you do well to use it regardless. <sighs> Moving on. Okay. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna get stabbed again. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate okay. your path dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. Mm. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. So the same thing there. It is different too, here. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I mm. hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Already got the red text. Does she remember us? You oh, what the? <laughs> and lock eyes with the princess. She looks up at you. The heavy she kind of looks cute. Her neck clanking loudly as she moves. The chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, okay. joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands in her lap. Oh God. <laughs> we have to cut off her head this time in order to get her out of the uh, out of the chains. Yeah, I don't know if the same strategy is gonna work. She kind of looks cute though. There, she's all like deadpan. She's like a little plushy almost. So much for cutting her out of here. Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Yeah, what was the fourth chain for? Like her legs, maybe? Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. Hmm. That was there last time too, wasn't it? Yeah. It was. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. Mm. I'm not sure I need to do much of anything. How do you... Do you see how locked up she is? I'm just gonna leave her here. Leave the princess in the ba basement. Sit with her. Slay the princess. Let's just sit with her. You step towards the princess. We got a but bond. she stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. It's her second date. She does look really cute here. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Sit where you were told to sit. Sit closer. You do Let's as she asks and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? Gosh, she is so, like, calm and cool and collected. My intentions, what do you mean? I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? What happened after I died last time? That other chain on the floor, on the wall, who was it for? God, there's so many questions I want to ask. What would you have me do? I think I'm just going to leave you here, actually. Okay, that's just like choosing. Um, let's see. I want to see if she remembers it. Oh, are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. Oh. But yeah. Oh. I remember. Okay, cool. I was not expecting that. I guess what you said back in the woods really huh. was true. <laughs> Thought she was just gonna call me Delulu too. <laughs> as much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. <laughs> this has complicated things. This totally ruins my gaslighting plan. What the hell? It's complicated things. How exactly? I can't lie to you guys anymore. Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process, you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. 
The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. A contingency for mm. what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else. I'm just going to make it worse. Just mm. <laughs> good luck. I'm sick of gaslighting you. You don't even listen to me. Now, hold on. If you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. Bruh. And maybe I wanted to be the first version mm. of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. <laughs> I'm ashamed of what I did last time. That's pathetic. I never said I wasn't. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems mm. like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Okay, he doesn't remember what happened before. Exactly. He gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the dark? We're just like sitting here, like staring at her, talking to ourselves. <laughs> the more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. We're just like... Like, next door's like, why are you doing that? Why are you moving your head so much? Well, what did you say that? Oh, well, uh, there's this thing and this thing. <laughs> um, can you leave, actually? You're kind of creeping me out. I won't. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest. This isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. We're asking about my intentions. What happened after I died? Yeah, I want to know that. Just be like, oh, I just lived a quiet life in a cabin in the woods. Nothing happened. <laughs> you died. I oh. went upstairs. I couldn't oh. leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. Okay. More of them. So she just like restarted the loop again? And now you're back. I kind of feel like slaying her is going to end the world. Like it's almost the opposite. Well, does that make sense either? There's definitely some kind of wonky time loop summit stuff going on. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might mm. be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. You were asking about my intentions. What did you mean by that? Well, she at least remembers us saving her before. Maybe if we're just, like, really adamant about it. Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know. She'll eventually, like, trust us and not want to kill us. We just got to bond with her. Are y'all shipping me with the narrator? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> what is going on in chat? You guys are always so goofy. You were asking about my intentions. What is the other chain of the wall for? I'll just ask about the intentions. Yes, your intentions. You have a knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? Well, I didn't want to take the knife, girl. So just believe me that the weeby voice did not want to take the knife. So if you want to date the weeby voice, just keep that in mind. There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, and I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. <laughs> you gonna do that on your neck this time, girl? I don't think that's gonna work. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? <laughs> yeah, for real. Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Ooh. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. <laughs> All the more reason not to trust her. Delulu! Unless she really could survive. It's kind of like my game. They just say slay and Delulu all the time. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. Okay. How, can, how am I supposed to cut you out if you didn't notice your- Yeah, your head's in a shackle! No, no. Like, I trust you to come any closer with that knife. Mm. All you're going to do is hand it to me and watch me work. Oh, God! <laughs> Jesus Christ! But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to get Peanut back out here! 
She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. Oh, Jesus. Or maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit oh, alone. Oh, God. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So, what should we do? Jesus, I'm scared! I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. I feel like I probably will give her the knife, but I'm scared to see what happens. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. I don't know, man. I'm more scared about watching her work. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. I, yeah, maybe she can regenerate. That's what I was thinking. I feel like she probably can. The pros are I guess that we'll we see. can't trust him. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. And whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. What other, what about that other chain on the wall? What is it? Who is it for? Oh yeah, I did want to ask about that. I don't know. I had a feeling. But you could always try it on. Oh, what the? For us, if we decide not to slay her, that's, oh my god, that's the ending we choose. Just the forever with our girly pop. <laughs> In prison ending. Maybe it'll fit. Mm -hmm. like I hope there. I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself <laughs> in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. Jesus. Inspect the shackle. Okay, I'll inspect it for now. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Is she gonna throw me into it? But, well, yeah, I guess if she can just cut herself off, it might be beneficial for her to lock me up. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? I can see if maybe there's a way to unlock it, you know? You know, we gotta investigate it. I basically want to do whatever the narrator says not to do. What? Honestly. Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe it will. Maybe. He doesn't want us to look at it. Yeah. That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? I'm assuming, too, each time we loop, we get a new voice, I guess, like, based off of our decisions. Because I guess I was skeptical of the narrator last time, and that's why I got the voice of the skeptic. That's kind of what I'm assuming is the case. He isn't. I am. Let's inspect it. <sighs> oh, there's two. Oh, no, no, it's just one. You okay. approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. You know what? I was like, is anybody feeding her? I was like, how long has she been down here? Mr. Judgment approaches the chain dangling at the wall. The princess watches you, faux disinterest suspected. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. Oh. Oh no. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds oh. bad. <laughs> is it bad? I don't want to read what happens next in the script. It's really fucking bad. You better get that peanut picture up, Weeby. Yes. It's bad. Oh god. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. <laughs> Fine. As you hoist the shackle, okay. its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, oh. snapping around your neck. Uh oh! And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism <laughs> repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. The narrator did kind of seem like he already knew that was going to happen because we asked him, like, what, is it going to attack, attach onto us immediately? And he was like, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> it's like... Um, excuse me? <laughs> yes? Are we stuck here now? Um, yes, dumbass. Oh, wait. Prison of the yes. mind. <laughs> Becoming your own jailer. Oh, your first time? Huh. So it does fit. <laughs> And I guess it doesn't like your knife. Oh, man. We're stuck here together, aren't we? Guys, That's it's funny. This is the good ending. We're here with her together forever. It's a love story, baby. Just say yes. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. <laughs> oh my god, prison date. This is so romantic. Not to touch things we're specifically told not to touch. Is she gonna eat us, actually? No, 
that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. Is that what the chain was for? Like, they keep bringing down other prisoners and they keep disappearing because she keeps eating them? I was like, how is she staying down here? It doesn't really seem like they ever feed her. At least there's, you know, nobody else kind of around here. So, so we're both stuck here. We're both single. We both, you know, have plenty of free time. So why not? Let's just, let's maybe want to hang out sometime? So we're both stuck here. What should we do? Did you know that this is going to happen to me? Yeah. No. Sussy baka. So we're both stuck here. Yep. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> what should we do now? Wait, I guess. Maybe something else will happen. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe another uh, monster furry guy will come down here and try to save us? <laughs> Look, we have so much in common. We're both stuck here forever. Not one for small talk. Small talk. No. Uh, small talk, are you? That's rude. Mm. Why are we even saving her? She's rude! You and the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. There must be something we can do to get out of here. There must be something we're missing. I can't reach the knife. It doesn't really look that far, but I don't know. But there isn't. Time passes. <laughs> And you die a slow, painful death. Good job, Weeby, you fucking dumbass. It passes and passes and passes. And the basement of the cabin remains much the same. Does she it is cold move? Does she ever like, move at all? She's just so chill. Just <laughs> Kind of reminds me of that episode of SpongeBob. Oh, and like SpongeBob and Patrick get the magic conch shell. And they're like, magic conch, what should we do? And she's like, nothing. They just... <laughs> like, like, this girl's not even blinking. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. It looked like we were right next to her. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. <laughs> Menacingly. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? It just does. <laughs> But your line of questioning is interrupted by the mm. passage of even more time. <laughs> and after that, even more time <laughs> passes again. It's so interesting. It's like we're in a storybook or something almost. And let me guess. The cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. That's just how things work. I suppose you're uh, correct. Anything? Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. But then they get larger. And larger. Okay. Hey, have you noticed the basement changing? How long are we stuck in here? I was like, does time pass for them? Like, how does time pass for them? Because it just kind of seems like the narrator controls everything. He's just like, time passes and passes and passes. But it kind of seems like... I don't know, it's just a matter of seconds, you know, but it's like becoming true anyways, just because he said it. Are you God, narrator? <laughs> Are you God? I don't like small talk, remember? Girl, can you at least like humor me a little bit? Like what was, what was that thing you said about us being in a relationship, girl? Don't you remember that? Don't you remember our history together? Still rude. I thought what we had was special. Okay, I guess we just wait in silence. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues oh, to change. Whoa. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth Yikes. through holes in the stonework, can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. Oh wow, it really is like deteriorating. How long are, like, are we technically in here? That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. Like, did we get isekai into a storybook? She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. We haven't either. Oh, wow. Holy fuck. Even more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass and pass until suddenly mm. there are no walls. 
then. It's like eventually she can escape, right? Once it deteriorates enough. And? I think he's gone. Oh. <laughs> Would you look at that? Hmm. We made it out of the cabin. <laughs> and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. And this was my plan all along. So this oh. is the outside world. It's cold. Hmm. What the fuck? Um, the hands of time taking us back to the past? But you don't get the chance to respond. Something has taken her away and it left something else in her stead. Oh, the mirror. She's gone. What the? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Huh. I guess she was technically out so that the world ended because of that? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went and I don't know how we are we even go about looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to look. I think so. I don't. I, I guess we'll just look at the mirror. Uh, something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. You're right. Um, Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. Oh God. Explore. The narrator's gone. Who is? Does that mean the world ended? Kind of seems like it. It must have. Do any of us know what the world ending is supposed to look like? I guess. I guess he was telling the truth then. It doesn't seem like she ends the world herself. It's just like her existence ends the world. She like an anomaly. She's from like a different time dimension that like breaks ours. If there's even a her to find anymore. Yeah, for real. You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Okay, let's approach the mirror, I guess. Okay, let me save. I haven't really been saving, have I? I'm begging you, don't do this. We gotta... Mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. Am I my own voice, too? I kind of assumed I was the hero voice, but I think I might be like a third voice now that I think about it. Like the soul, voice of the soul or something. Because I'm like also having a conversation with these guys. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Since as you reach forward, they're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's, ugh, it's you. Ow. Why we look like that? We're alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. We still can't really see our face too much. I guess we'll just go to the cabin. If there's a cabin to go back to. Oh, hey. Oh, God, she's got the hands. You're at the cabin. Oh, God, there's like some elfin lead shit. She's got the hands all around her. I feel like she's going to cut me with them. Approach her. Oh. Something finds me in the long quiet. And brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Girl. <laughs> Am I the vessel? What the? The gift of a fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. Is she God? This one is cold and cynical. She has protected herself when others could not. She will make for a clever heart. What? Do not mourn her. She doesn't need to be protected any longer. She's talking about the previous princess that like, died or something? Finds it along quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Okay, okay, I guess we're talking to like the hands now about her that's being like held by the hands. What are you? Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Being vague. <laughs> Biblically accurate princess. <laughs> Do be like that. Solitary lights, what do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. Okay. What do you think I am? 
<laughs> I'm a person? I th I'm like a, I don't know, eldritch monster, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. Oh. Is that a good thing? We are oceans reduced to shallow creeks. Well, I'll let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. Is that why I had to slay the princess? Because this, like, monster is going to possess her? I promise that it doesn't hurt. Do you, do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. Okay. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you trapped? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Are you the princess? Do we know each other? Are you the princess? She is part of me. And part of me is her. But were you always the princess? Or are you just making her a part of yourself? Yeah, that was kind of what I assumed was going on. You speak in circles. <laughs> Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? <laughs> I feel like a lot of this game is kind of talking in circles. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. The narrator just knew about her? Even like before she, you know, came into existence? I'm not really sure. Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope as I witness you. What happens now? Nothing as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Is that why the narrator forgot in like the last time loop? Bring me more perspectives, oh. so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. <laughs> so wait, can I like choose to work with her and bring her more princesses or something? Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? What if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape, to remold. You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you, yeah, for real? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? Okay, make me forget. Kind of seems like I have to do that. But let me do this. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. I think she wants more voices of the hero. Is that it? I thought she wanted more princesses and she kind of captured her. Well, I guess she might be, I guess, like, eating us too or whatever. <laughs> it kind of seemed like that was also implied too. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Okay. How many more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. I guess I just like voices in general that we give her. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Mm. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. Kind of seems like I don't have a choice. I'm not going... I'm not going back. Okay, make me forget. I guess we could see what happens if we wait? I don't know. Ah! I'm not sure. Okay. I kind of want to help her, but... <laughs> I don't know! I'm so confused on what to do. I don't really want to help the narrator because he's sussy. She's definitely sussy. She looks terrifying. 
But I don't know. What happens if we wait? Is it just if you need chillin'? time, then I'll wait with you. Guess we can see if anything happens. Wait forever. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, never mind. I guess you can just make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Oh, the princess? Is she falling in love with me finally? You won't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. That sounded like a really nice, lovely death. Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter. Oh, whoa. We're back at the beginning again. Oh my god, was that like an actual ending? You're on a path <laughs> in the woods. Cool. And at the end of that path is a cabin. Oh, and the in real the story starts of that here. Is a princess. That was what the achievement said. Thank you, Temple of the Gods. The voice seems to be a cosmic entity that creates princesses to experience enough through them to develop full consciousness. Interesting. Very confusing, but interesting. Yeah, it's definitely a cool, uh, unique concept. Thanks so much for the donation. Appreciate you. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Is this like a... <laughs> Is he just going to say the same exact thing from the first one? In the world, what are you talking about? I guess there's not really any reason to do all these again, huh? You consider that maybe I want the world to end? Should I kill her this time? I don't know. It's just something about the real story beginning here. I'm not really sure. Hmm, I wonder what happens. I guess I could try to just like turn around and leave. Okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Silently continue to the cabin. Maybe this time I'll go, but I won't take the knife. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. We're not going to go through with this, right? Mm. She's a princess. We're supposed to save not princess. Not slay Virgin. them! He doesn't know what he's talking about. Okay, proceed into the cabin. Okay, because it seemed like the knife definitely did mess us up the last time. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note, the blade, is your implement. Okay, take the blade, just enter the basement. I guess we can kind of skip some the of this of the basement dialogue that we've open, gone through revealing before. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by her voice, soft. Hello? Oh! Is someone there? Oh, she's all scared now. It's hypnotizing. Oh. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. <laughs> okay. I'm here to save you. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I guess I kind of am here. I'm here to save you. Lie, I'm here to save you. Oh, that's kind of interesting. You can lie or uh, choose to say it and mean it. Um... <sighs> She sounds so, like, nervous this time. Okay, whatever. I'm here to save how you this time. How many times do I have to tell you how dangerous letting her out of here would be before it finally sinks in? Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. She sounds so different. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. It's like, oh, God, you're like an Elstrick demon. But, um, thanks, I guess. I don't have to hook up with you afterwards, right? <laughs> we don't have to get married, right? You walk down the stairs oh, and she's lock so cute. eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. Is she just pretending or is this like a new, I guess, iteration of her? Probably like a new iteration of her based off of like, I don't know, all the like timey-wimey stuff that's going on. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. <laughs> Shrek 2.0. I was thinking that too, honestly. Don't do it. If she gets out of those chains, we're all one step closer to the end. Hold on, let's talk first. I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. Um, I don't know. Maybe we can try to talk a little bit first since okay. she seems so different now. Oh no, she doesn't trust me anymore. Oh, she looks so cute! Look at her! Oh, look at her little face! You can actually answer my questions this time? Oh. What's your name? She pauses, mm. carefully formulating her words before she responds. 
You can address me as your royal highness. Okay. Or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. You're just saying the same stuff, you're just being nicer about it. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? <laughs> Could you imagine being named Princess Princess? I feel like I did meet somebody one time who was named Princess. So is Princess your name? Um, no more questions. Like I said, you can call me Princess if you'd like. Okay, now you're being a sussy baka girl. <laughs> dot dot dot. I'm sorry, Awkward. I've been down here so long. Oh. I guess I've just forgotten. I must have a name though. Oh. Everyone has a name. Forgot her name. I want to like believe her, but somebody kind of feels like she's lying. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> she hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up down here for good reason. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I've been wanting to know that. I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> She's so suspicious. <laughs> um, you're asking too many questions. <laughs> it kind of seems like she's dropping her little nervous act. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? I guess, yeah, it could just be that, like, uh, when we have the knife, she ends up being sassier. I guess she's more on guard, and then if we don't have the knife, she's, like, nice because she, like, trusts us more. I guess it could be just, like, two sides of her personality rather than, like, a different iteration of her. I guess it's kind of hard to know since I didn't grab it last time. Or since I did grab it last time. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up here for good reason. I was sitting here to slay you. You're apparently some end of the world. What are you going to do if I let you out of here? I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little while. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do with you. I'm sorry, but I just can't trust you. This doesn't add up, and it isn't worth the risk. Take the world. Take your word over the potential fate of the world. Let's go back and get the blade. Go back and get the blade. Can't believe you're keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. I think we'll get her out, but I guess we'll ask her a few more questions. Oh, oopsie. Ha! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I don't know if I should ask all of these, though, because that might piss her off. Well, it might be okay. Let's just ask. I don't know anything about you. For all I know, you're locked up here for good reason. Of course I'm locked up down here for a reason. Oh. I don't uh. actually know what that reason is, but you don't just stuff a princess in a basement and throw away the key without there being some sort of an explanation. Okay. Right? You have all the explanation you need, and you should know better than to trust whatever she comes up with. I was sitting here to slay you. You're apparently supposed to end the world. Mm. I don't think you're actually dangerous, but I wanted to see you for myself. I'm still not sure what to believe. I'm starting to think it's true. There's something about you that just doesn't feel fucking right. Um, I don't think you're actually dangerous. Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I, I like the world, I think. Okay, she said it last time, too. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here for so long. That's... How long has she been locked away? Did they tell you how I'm supposed to end the world? Okay, that's gonna seem like, honestly, the same answers. In kind of like a way, it's just her personality so different, it seems really different at first. What are you gonna do if I let you out of here? The princess hesitates before responding. She doesn't know. She's been down here too long to have any idea of what she'd do in another life. I guess I think, like, I like the world, I think. I kind of don't blame her. It's like, they did lock me down here, so... I think I'd probably like it better than being down here, but they do kind of seem like assholes. She knows what she'd do. She's just searching for whatever answer she thinks you want to hear. What I do doesn't really matter, right? <clears throat> yes. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. I don't trust that, and I don't think you do either, or you wouldn't have come down here to talk. She has a point. We're talking like this for a reason. <laughs> She's so cute, though. I can't get over it. So this shouldn't be about what I'd do if I got out of here, or me saying the right thing to convince you to save me. This is about how messed up this whole situation is. 
This is my life we're talking about. Do you really think I can even end the world? Why would I even want to? Are you gonna get the furry ending, Weepy? <laughs> Probably. We both know that if there's people we can't trust in this situation, it's whoever locked me down here, and it's whoever sent you here. And those two groups are probably one and the same. The narrator. Don't let her turn the tables here. This isn't about <laughs> Don't let her trust. talk shit about this me. This is about risk. Stop that. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of one person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. <laughs> what is that like when you're against monarchs? Like an anarchist or something? I feel like he's so like, it's kind of trying to use that like, viva la revolution. Like, oh, you're really defending a monarch? Think of all the evil stuff monarchs have done, Weeby, and listen to me. Okay, I think I'm cool with him. Um, I think I'm gonna try to let her out without the knife. I can't believe they're keeping you down here like this. I'm getting you out of here. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. You're making a huge mistake. No, you're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. Yeah, I'm not really sure how we're supposed to get her out without the knife. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of Should we even listen to the narrator? Just just... Left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. He's also just kind of like he's obviously our like you know I guess like villain in this situation at least since we're trying to help her. So it's like I don't know if we should really be trying to like I don't know talk to him or getting any ideas from him. And if there isn't a key, do you have any other ideas? I'm gonna check upstairs. Maybe the key's still lying around somewhere up there. If not, maybe I can at least find something to break you free. I'll try this. Maybe there's some way to break the chains? She sounds so cute. Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. Oh, God. <laughs> she offers the suggestion with almost complete nonchalance. Even though she sounds so sweet, she, like, still, like, I don't know, is so, like, she still has, like, the same personality. Like, yeah, you can just cut me out of it. It's whatever. If it's we fine. were stuck down here long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out if it meant we could finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into Okay, place. same thing. Is someone else here? Hey, let me out of here. Try the door. We're from the bottom. I don't know if it's really worth it, but Your we can try. and pleas are met with silence. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the princess. And you won't leave until the task is done. Try, try the, the door. door. But it's locked from the outside. Had a feeling. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade like you were supposed to. I know to. what happens. I did that last time. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Oh my god! Her eyes look so demented too! I just want to like show the eyes without showing what's going on on the screen! Thank you god, Peanut, for helping! As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's the blade from upstairs. <laughs> you're not sure how it made its way down here. But if Holy you're trying fuck! To stop, it's <laughs> she acts it's so normal this time! <laughs> and then she does that! Or we could use it to free her. Oh god, this came down. I didn't even notice that. I was so hung <laughs> I was so hung up on what just happened. Barely has a before <laughs> Jesus Christ, sound comes from behind you, the cling. Okay, so somebody threw down the, uh, <laughs> threw down the knife for us. <laughs> like, now do you want to fucking slay her? <laughs> now do you believe me that this bitch is crazy? I won't like what happens if you do that. Oh my god. Save the <laughs> I don't know if I want to save her anymore. <laughs> did somebody that girl dinner? Oh my god. Somebody 
in chat said, girl dinner. <sighs> Fine. Oh, Jesus Christ. Against oh! your Hold Place the blade against okay. the ragged, self-inflicted wound on the princess's arm, just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. No, that's some girl dinner right there. <laughs> it's like, why are you looking at me like that? Was that not normal? Was that weird? Was that kind of weird of me to do? Cut into her flesh. The blade is no. sharp, and it takes little effort. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're saving my ass, Peanut! <laughs> Thank you, Brie, for being a member for 13 months! Can't fa stay for long, do you to work? Have fun, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Oh my god. I think you guys can have an idea what that looks suit. like. She didn't so much as utter a sound through the whole ordeal. No. She didn't. <sighs> she smiles softly as her gaze meets yours. Blood from her wounded arm dripping rhythmically to the ground. Why does she look so cute, though? She's like, okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> okay, bestie. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by what just happened. <laughs> just casually bleeding out over here, so maybe we should escape soon. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Okay, approach the locked door. <laughs> We won't have any of that. The stakes are Oh too god, is he gonna do the same crap again? Can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape. God dang it, he's doing the same the shit! Stare. Your body steps forward and raises the blade. Damn it. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't watch me. What are you doing? Okay, maybe she's nicer now so she won't kill us this time? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, let's warn her again. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? Maybe, maybe this time she'll save us, right? Your body oh, there you go! Oh God! Held low, ready to sink into her heart. Or that. Ooh. Princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive. Okay, okay, okay. Let's resist. The blade. Move the. Blade. No, you! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. <laughs> this isn't you, bestie, okay? She nervously reaches towards you oh, and takes the blade same thing. from your infuriatingly <sighs> rigid hands. What are you doing? Doing. Uh, same thing. Damn it, she's gonna kill me again. Ugh, maybe I will just slay her next time. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She throws <gasps> it into your chest, tearing oh, Jesus. flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't hmm. dead yet. It's actually kind of nicer last time when she, uh, I don't know, didn't. Then she just like cut her throat and ended it quickly. Oh no. I'm so, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for murdering you, bestie. Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake? Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of <laughs> heroic gesture. The two of you have literally doomed everyone. <laughs> Zara, she's just silly. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again oh, Jesus. and again and again. And you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. And it's kind of weird that, yeah, even on, like, the run, she's nicer. She's, like, hurting us way more. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, my God! <laughs> okay, not girl! Life, does she? <laughs> Mekon moment. Oh, my God, thank you, Breathe the Cookie Monster. Oh, before I go, did you see the new trailer for The Amazing Digital Circus? We'd be so good. I feel like you'd have fun analyzing it. I need to watch it. I was, like, trying to decide if I should react to it or not for a video. I could probably just watch it on my own, though. But um, I did hear that I think we're going to get, like, a new episode in May, though, which I'm really excited about. And thank you so much for the uh, donation. Appreciate you. Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but she's so weird. thrust of the knife. Your legs give out beneath you. Uh. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The 
princess stares down at your ruined chest as tears carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. She feels bad this time. So maybe next, you know, iteration she'll be in love with me? It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's Ooh. rich coming from you. Oh, she's crying. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. The two of you made your choice. It's over. You know, when she bit into her own skin, I was like, maybe I can't fix her. But now I'm starting to have hope again. Everything goes dark. Look at her. And you die. She's so sweet. She cares about us so much. The damsel. You're on a path in the woods. You're here to slay. Curious to see what um new, whatchamacallit, uh, voice we get. Getting a terrible sense of deja a vu. Terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. If he doesn't remember what happened, then I just want to see what voice we get. That way. Yes, he didn't oh. approve of us last time, did he? <laughs> if we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky. About it. <laughs> okay, now we got the simp voice. <laughs> I'm gonna save my bay. <laughs> Finally, the simp voice, just like me. Our beloved. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I already got a ring ready and about to propose to her right now. Yes, you'll have to be very sneaky about your intentions if you're going to try and save the princess. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Ah, so all of the cards are on the table. Then you should know that we and the princess are in love. <laughs> and the four of us will be foiling any and all assassination attempts you've got in the works. The four of us? It's like me, Hero, Smitten, who would be the... Oh yeah, I guess the princess is the fourth one. We'll see about that. <laughs> Whatever you do, just be sure to ignore him specifically. It sounds like he's the sort who'd sacrifice the whole world for a peck on the cheek. Oh my god, he's just like me for real. What can I say? A world without love is a world that isn't worth saving. So true, bestie. This is just more deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing literally just happened. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. So let's just agree to disagree. Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all this really did just happen. Why would I listen to you? I just want to get more of the the Those Smitten's voice. Very, let's say for a moment, if you're back, you were the one who did us in, villain. <laughs> villain? <laughs> He's such a cliche, like a Prince Charming. Well, not you in the literal sense, but you did everything you could to stop us from rescuing her. Oh, I Smitty. wonder why. Maybe it's because the entire <laughs> world was at stake. <laughs> That's kind of a cute nickname for him. Smitty. I beg to differ. <laughs> Oh, I beg to differ. To I'm just going to take a deep breath and assume that whoever is making the decisions here has the common sense to ignore your protestations. Anyway, I believe your second question was, what's the point of doing anything? What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got If it's the latter, what do you, do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Oh, she would never. <laughs> She's a perfect angel that you cruelly imprisoned as part of some convoluted, dastardly scheme. <laughs> I love him. I love Smitty. Convoluted. <laughs> I don't know how this premise could be any more simple. <laughs> Princess bad, stop her, save everyone. <laughs> I love him. You dastardly s scoundrel. It was you who did all the slang. <laughs> Okay, I'm going with them. I'm gonna find a way to save her from the cabin. Okay, I wanna try to save her again, and then maybe we'll get the love ending. The love ending. I'm so excited. Let's talk about the princess. Yeah, she's gonna save her from the cabin. Right. You can't stop all of us. We're going to sweep her off her feet if it's the last thing anyone does. But I reserve her for myself. <laughs> My part of the personality gets her, not you, hero. Are these really the sorts of people you'd like to align yourself with? You're not at the cabin yet. You still have plenty of time to reflect on the situation. I just hope for all our sakes that you make the right call. Okay, let's just go to the cabin, I guess. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, warning, before you go any further. Thanks for becoming a member, uh, Danganronpa Short Stories. Thanks for joining the Kinjo Cult. She will lie, she will cheat, mm -hmm. and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. 
It's your lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world <laughs> we can believe in. Oh, you're such a sip. Oh, Weeby, I didn't know you were in this game. Kazuichi mode activated. <laughs> Crying. I think we've already been over this. I'm pretty sure he just likes the sound of his own voice. I do. But I also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. Two things can be true at once, I tell you. Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. Okay, yeah, so we are like a third personality because the narrator is talking to us. And yeah, they mentioned earlier, like, the four of us. I wonder what the name of our, like, voice is. Proceed to the cabin. We gonna see the mirror again, too? I guess we'll see. Yep. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Its stone walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. Ah, he's a not missing the mirror again. A royal prisoner. Oh, wait. The only furniture of note is an ornate wooden table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. I think it is a little different. Didn't they have, like, bars on the windows before? I think the windows were smaller, too. This is more kind of like, fit for a princess. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay, you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different than last time. Take out the blade. Well, here I did the mirror thing last time. I don't really know if we'll be able to do anything now. That's because there isn't a mirror. Yeah. There's a table, the, the blade. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. I'm sure the princess would tell us there was a mirror if she were up here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so down bad. In which case she'd be lying to you because, again, there isn't a mirror. Why would you lie about that? What's the point? Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. This, is, this, is a whole, this whole cabin is different than last time. Very different. Is it? I can't say I was paying much attention to the mm. scenery last time. Were you born after the last time? Were you still there somehow? Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. Stop letting yourself get distracted. Okay, um, should I look at the mirror again? I don't know if it really did anything last time. I guess it did show up at the end. I don't know, it seems important. Walk up to the wall next to the basement door. This really isn't... Wipe the mirror clean. You reach oh. forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. Okay, yeah, it's just you know the ridiculous you tapestry this time. But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. Pity. We could have a feather out of place and now we'll never mm. know. We can't gallantly sweep her off her feet if we have a feather out of place. <laughs> I want to make sure I look hot for her, even though I am a monstrosity. Okay, let's into the basement. No blade. The door I guess it's just the, the skeptic that makes you take open, the uh, blade normally. An intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems okay. welcoming in the dim firelight. Yeah, this is nicer, too. But it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice <laughs> carries up the stairs. Even though it's nice this time, he still says the line. Hello? Is someone there? Okay, she still sounds nice this time. I was like, it'd be kind of funny if she was like, a boss-ass bitch again. <laughs> well, we have the spin with us. Like, oh, cool. Yeah, whatever. I don't care about you guys. The spin was like, no, you're not the princess I fell in love with last time. Where is she? Her voice. It's somehow <laughs> even more beautiful oh than my last God. time. I can hear wedding bells already. I feel like this game is making fun of me. <laughs> it's like, why am I in this game? I held my tongue till now, but you're taking this a little too far. We barely even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this over-the-top fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. You walk down oh, the stairs okay. and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall. Is he even binding her? It's like under her dress. I was like, it'd be kind of funny if it was actually like already detached and she just like hiding it with her dress. No, don't look there. It's whatever. 
my love. Oh, God. We're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Oh, God. You know she can't hear you. Right? <laughs> she may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. I guess she can only hear us, so I guess we're like the actual, you know, monster, bird, eldritch <laughs> creature that we are. And then these are just the, I don't know, other voices in our head. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. I kind of wanted to see her reaction to, uh, the smitten, honestly. It's you, my dashing hero. <laughs> I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Okay, yeah, she remembers us from last time, too. That's good. Do you hear that? <laughs> she said we're dashing, and she called us a hero. Yeah, I think her dress is nicer, too. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Oh, she's so cute. Waiting for you to come back. I didn't want to believe your ravings back in the woods, but this is next to incontrovertible evidence. You've been here before. That's right, villain. Mm -hmm. You killed us. Well, she killed us. I guess, yeah, since they're like the voices in my head, they can like kind of overtake my body and control me. I guess that's how the narrator did it last time. That makes sense. Only because he made us try and kill her. It was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. <laughs> she does look so adorable here, though. Aw, she's precious. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. What matters is you have a chance to do it right this time. Now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to rescue her? We never saw a world <laughs> end. And now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone shan't. convince us otherwise. I love how Delulu is. Are you listening to him? Just He's like lost me. It. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. You killed me last time and it hurt a and it hurt a lot. Why did you do that, man? I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? What happened after I died? I have to ask, did you end the world after you killed me back then? Sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me <laughs> was pushed to such drastic action, it was for good reason. Well, I gotta let her know what's going on. That's okay. <laughs> you were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. It, you're kind of, it was kind of rude how much you stabbed me, though. That kind of did hurt a lot. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. Oh my god. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? Mm. She doesn't. There's no one else like me. One of a kind. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little voice like mm. him, always trying to drive her to violence. Hey, the him is capitalized. Are you God, narrator? You killed me last time. It hurt a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't you want me to? Did? We? D did we? I don't really know about that. I thought it was more like self-protection. We warned her of the cruel forces <laughs> seizing our body. That's practically oh my telling God. her to kill us. She is our beloved, and she made the choice to free <laughs> us of our misery, to show us mercy and make the best decision for everyone. He is so Delulu. I've never seen a more down, bad, and Delulu man. She made the best decision for her. Don't be so quick to assign kindness. You're just opening yourself up to manipulation. I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off oh again. God. We won't be laying a finger oh on my God. perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. <laughs> Do you see how dainty her hands God. are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. Oh, this man. What? No, she's a prisoner here. You can't just slip her hand through the chains. Maybe we, like, broke some of her fingers or something? I don't know, actually, maybe not. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we came up with. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? <laughs> that's our stoic, smiling angel. You're right, it's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's not to be trusted. So go ahead and slay her. The hero really is the only rational one. Time for some more girl dinner, I think. What happened after I died? You died, and now we're talking. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, girly pop. What a great answer. Before we start talking, did the world end? Did you end the world? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? <laughs> 
Would that have made you happy? Okay, Yandere Queen. <laughs> Was I supposed to? I can. Isn't that just like For our you? darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My heart melts further with every word that passes through her beautiful lips. Are you listening to her? <laughs> That's a confession. No, I don't want the world to end. I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. People are people are a plague, and I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them all. <laughs> that is kind of funny, actually. I kind of want to say it, but it is psycho. We'll just uh, we'll just say I don't want the world to end. Don't do that, sweetie. Then I didn't end the world. <laughs> are you, okay, are you just saying whatever you want me to hear? <laughs> I feel like you might just be saying whatever you want me to hear. Wait, what happens if I do the other one? Let's, um, load. I have no feelings. Uh, did you- I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them. I can't believe that the fate <laughs> of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. Lucky for you, I did destroy the world. <laughs> oh my God. I destroyed all of it and made it awful for everyone. That is so slay, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you so much, girl. I love you. <laughs> what a queen. What the fuck? I'd point out that she just admitted to obliterating the entire world. <laughs> I guess that wouldn't actually move you. I'm crying. She's just saying shit. <laughs> Honestly, I would do the same thing if I was locked up, though, too. Yes, sweetie, whatever. What did you want me to do? Oh, it moves me. <laughs> whatever we do next, we should do our best to not let her out. But have you seen her angelic <laughs> face? She should get a pass. Oh, my God. She just wanted to make us happy. She is, he is literally me. By destroying the world, apparently. Mm -hmm. Yes. But she did it for us. And that's so cute. No, I can't let you do that. If you no. take another step towards the princess, I'll... I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. My mm -hmm. passions contain titanic depths. And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our oh. life without a second thought. Oh, Jesus. You wouldn't. Oh, how are you going to do that? We don't have a knife or anything. I would. <laughs> I will hold our breath until we stop, until we, you know, die of, you know, deoxation or whatever. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <laughs> She's so cute! You approach the princess and oh gingerly slide her hand from her body. What the f That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. <laughs> We're doomed. And did I eat through my arm for no reason that one time? I can't believe it. I guess I have to. I told you. <laughs> there's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. The power of love did it. I'm free. And you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, she's... I love her. She's adorable. I think we can fix her. The princess <gasps> jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Oh my god. <laughs> We're in love. We're literally in love right now. I, we did it, guys. We fixed her. If only you had a weapon. One slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. <laughs> We're about to make out, so can you leave us alone, narrator, Luckily please? For Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have <laughs> the power of love on our side? So true, King. What do we do now? <laughs> I think you know, baby. <laughs> Time to make out. Uh, what do you want to do? We leave and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we want to do next. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? She's like, whatever you want to do, sweetie! Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has never felt love in his heart. I don't actually know. Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Uh, poor thing. I mean, you sort of did last time, but this is different. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have had her all wrong. What if this whole thing is just a misunderstanding? What if she doesn't want to end the world? <laughs> She's been fixed, Weeby. Has infinite riz. And thank you. <laughs> I'll be hosting classes. I'll see if uh, Sir Pinches can can sign up. Because God knows he needs help. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? Oh, please save here. I shall do that. I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection, and then she shrugs. I don't know. Mm. What do you want to do? I don't know. I'm cool. Whatever. I don't know. Where do you want to eat? 
Uh, I just want to take you on a date, girl. Let's go get some raisin canes or something. I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want the world to end? I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest later. I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. <laughs> she looks even more kawaii. She can't just want to make us happy. I just live for you. That's my only job in life. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. Ooh, the music's getting kind of freaky. There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. <laughs> oh my god, she's getting more kawaii! I wasn't sure if I was just imagining that. Is she broken? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> What's going on is she's lying to you. Oh my and goodness. She isn't a liar. Are you starting to trust me now? <laughs> but what would make you happy? I just want to make you happy. <laughs> she's getting so kawaii. This isn't right. I don't know what's going on, but this isn't right. <laughs> what the hell? She's getting like less detailed too. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. <laughs> you don't have to act like it's a big deal. Are we killing her? You have to want something more than just making me happy. Okay. Oh, I like something else to want if that makes you happy. Okay, girl. She sort of looks like she's from like Shin Chan or something. Is it just me, or does it feel like we're alone right now? <laughs> like we're the only ones here. Oh wait, did the world end while we were flirting? Oh shit! Ah, there it is. <laughs> Thanks for the Shin Chan version. <laughs> you fixed her, and then you broke her again. Damn it! <laughs> it always be like that. You don't get the chance to ask another question, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Oh. She was our perfect match. <laughs> no! She's gone. Where did she go? It's time to give Should you to the arm, Smitty. And is that a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end for me, so I'm good, so deuces, Smitty. It's going to be okay. Just trust me. We've been here before. You you always get scared. Let's just lie to them. You're totally not going to die, bestie. Don't worry about that. Or should we just be uh, sassy? There's nothing they can do about it, so let's just be evil. Fuck what it. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. Don't worry, buddy. It's it's all good. Everything's gonna be okay. Do it then. End <laughs> us all before oh I die of a broken heart. That is so true. Approach the mirror. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. We're gonna look different this time? Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Ah, uh, yep, there I am again. You've grown. Wait, have, gr have I gotten... Oh, what the fuck? Have I gotten bigger? You've grown. <laughs> You've gotten more powers. Oh, I do have feathers. Look at that. What am I? <laughs> like a goblin with bird eldritch demon thing? Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Okay, let's see my girl. The real best girl. Oh, there she is. She can be manga if I still. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Hey, girl. The oh, she is. And empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. She is um in her little anime form from before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. Okay. I guess so. Are you the same being as you were before? How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gets fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. Please no spamming in chat. Let me uh, move this. Uh, uh, one second. What does it feel like to... What does it feel like to change like this? I mean, I guess it's true we all change, you know? When is this all when is this all done? Do you know what you want to do? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. Hmm. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. I cannot tell you what desires I will oh. hold when I have changed. That's comforting. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself. 
and to know you. Oh my god, are you falling in love with me? I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be having a love story with the princess, but with the hand demon thing that's possessing her. Oh, uh, you know what? It kind of reminds me of Full Metal Alchemist. Wasn't there like hands in Full Metal Alchemist too, at like the gate or whatever? What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. You know, at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you, right? Hmm. Am I? Am I even able to kill her? <laughs> Elder Chan demon romance. It kind of is like that. Remember, there's a love story. This I know. That's why I'm like, it is a love story, but I don't think it's actually with the princess. I think it's with the hand demon. <laughs> when I go back, it's as if it's an invisible wall closed around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Oh, you can't actually do the same things you've done before. Destroy your body. I'm ready to go back. I guess we can uh, try to kill her too. I don't know if uh, we really should though. I was like, maybe we should wait until we get all the other voices, but aren't we like giving her the voices? We're probably making her like more po like powerful. So <laughs> I think we might be kind of screwing ourselves. You know, this, I'm gonna kill you, right? There is still much to be seen. Okay. Neither of us know the depths of our being. Perhaps at the end of this, I will be the mm. one to kill you. Or perhaps we will leave this place together and find new horizons to discover. Or perhaps we'll fall in love and leave together. Can you look like the princess? <laughs> if we do that, I don't know if I want to date like a bunch of hands. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I'm pretty open-minded, but I just I don't know if I can get past that. When I go back, it's as if it was an invisible wall closed around me. Why can't I do the same things Those as before? Those lead to worlds you've already seen and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. <laughs> she said it herself, the princess is her and part of her is the princess. <laughs> so it'll be like you're dating the princess, even if it is just a bunch of disembodied arms. You've been kinder to me than anybody else I've met, thank you. Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. And she is raising me up. What do you want me to bring next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers. And every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Do you have any thoughts on this vessel? This one is soft mm. and delicate. You molded her to love you. And she'll make for a gentle heart. Okay, she's taking the... Is she taking the voices, though, too? Or is it just the prince? I guess it's like we're molding the princesses. Interesting. To, like, sacrifice to her, not necessarily the voices. Do not mourn her. She has served her purpose. Aw, that's sad. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will be. Man, there's a lot of things we can ask. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them, you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. Okay. Is the princess just like a clean slate? Like, what is she? Is she like a homunculus? <laughs> like, it's like, oh, uh, she created a lab and we're like the first people to ever interact with her, so that's how we shape her personality. Because, I mean, you know, if she was just like living a normal life, I don't think one interaction would change her that much. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. She is a philosophy major. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, 
you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. It's kind of like they're both empty vessels in a way. It's like the prince is an empty vessel, then we like mold her into some kind of personality, then we sacrifice her to the hand demon who's also kind of like, at least started out empty. You will wants have to learn more in due time. And I am sorry for the burdens I place on She's you. Like, I want to learn what love is. Dude, the trope does always get me. Okay, I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. She does kind of seem like she loves me. We will meet again. Does she even have a gender now that I think about it? Everything goes dark and you die. Chapter one, the hero and the princess. An idealized vessel. Okay, maybe we should just kill her this time. In the woods. And at the end of your hair to slay her. Should we just kill her? I guess like, hmm. Can we still give her a vessel or whatever if we kill her? Probably. I guess we'll see. We definitely need to do something uh, else. You know the world, what are you talking about? Let's just go to the cabin. We've already done all this. I guess, um, yeah, let's do some Viva La Revolution. I've always wanted to kill a monarch. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah, finally! <laughs> finally somebody who fucking listens to me! You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. We're not gonna go through with this, right? Ignore him. You don't... Okay, proceed to the cabin. We can at least see what happens. The interior of the cabin is all the blade is your... Okay, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. Enter the basement. Uh, the save? I guess I can always the reload the save and open, see if there's anything, revealing uh... Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen <laughs> light in the room below. <laughs> we be you owe us some furry place. indies. <laughs> I really yeah, have become, like, furry news. I don't even cover weeb stuff anymore. From the ancient <laughs> if the princess really lives here... Slaying her voice okay. carries up the stairs. Who's there? Oh yeah, she's a she's a badass boss babe again. She sounds dangerous. Don't let it fool you. Okay, I think I'm here to kill you. I guess I'll just continue Good. on the stairs. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist binding her to the far wall. I guess if we kill her, we can teach the demon hand monster like sadness and fear, betrayal. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Yep. Okay. Um, nah, -uh, steal your nerves and stuff forward, I guess. Yeah, just kind of. Okay, yeah, you got me. I'm here to slay. I mean. That isn't a good idea. Mm. Just drop the knife, and maybe the two of us can talk things out. She's right, we should. We should just drop the blade. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold yeah, maybe blood should just go ahead and kill her. I just had to be kind of funny to be like, hey, Yeah, you got me, girl. <laughs> I was coming here to kill you. Okay, tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands. To tighten your grip on the blade. Oh, but she looks so scared. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. <laughs> are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward. Oh, God. Your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? You said in one of your other versions that you don't like to talk. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Damn. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. No, we gotta go for it. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. We already fixed her, so it's time to kill her. It's time to slay. What if she isn't bluffing? What if she kills us? Aren't you sure she's not armed? I'm sorry, can we just talk? I'm not dropping the blade. I'm not dropping it. I'm not talking to you. I'm not here to talk. Then I guess, fine. Then I guess we're an impo at an impasse. Squint at the princess while holding on to the blade. Just kind of like, <laughs> kind of like just this procrastinate killing her. Let's just slay. It's time to fucking go. Let's slay, baby. 
Slay, slay, Doubt, slay! Unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed uh -oh. to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. Oh, Jesus. It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Oh, God, we're not that strong, are we? Holy shit, that hurts! Though she's unarmed. The shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on somewhat equal footing. Oh! The blade slashes through the air. Okay, again slay! And, again, and her fists connect with your body as many times or more, each impact as heavy as that first bone crushing hit. Damn. We can still turn this around. Oh, shit! Okay, give up, finish the job. Finish the job, baby! You and the princess stare at each other, both gasping for breath, equally exhausted. You probably won't make it out of here alive, but you can at least make sure that she won't make it out of here, either. Excuse me? <laughs> Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty to state the facts of the situation, and honestly, <laughs> it's a miracle anyone is still standing right now. If you have to die, then I will allow it. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? If the princess doesn't do our friend in herself, Internal bleeding is certain to finish the job. Jeez, she is such a badass. Oh! The oh! The time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow, but you push through the pain, falling forward and sinking your blade deep into the princess. Oh shit, heart. we got her though! Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. The two of you fall to the floor. Ah, uh, damn. It's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet though thing. It's still kind of. It's still a love story, baby. Say yes. This was fun. <laughs> I liked this one. That was a good time. The princess gasps. See you next time. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought mm. you would. But I have to wonder, do you really think this is the end? But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark. And you die. I guess she's already aware of the fact we're gonna get reincarnated. The adversary. Adversary. You're on a path in the woods. Was the last one and called at the, end the of that path Is a cabin. No, it was the damsel. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, it's probably talking about how we like mold her. So last time we made her into like a damsel in distress, and this time we made her like an adversary, I guess. You're here to slay her. Okay, I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Sense of deja I just want to know what other voice we got now. If he doesn't remember what happened, then you know I can hear you, right? That's fine. Ah, stop it. It doesn't matter if he can hear us. The only thing that matters is marching up to that cabin and winning. And winning. That's the spirit. Mm -hmm. There's no point in squabbling when the real threat is just up that hill. Finally, I got a got a voice that. I, finally, you got a voice that I liked. It's more than deja vu, though. I'm pretty sure this whole thing happened. Okay, let's go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Lying and mm. cheating doesn't sound like her at all. Not that it matters. It's not like she can lie or cheat in the middle of a fight. <laughs> God, it's just like a Dragon Ball Z character or something. It's time to fight. Are you sure about that? The point of my warning wasn't to start an argument over what circumstances the princess is capable of lying in. It was to give you some broadly applicable advice. The princess will do and say whatever she thinks it will take to get her out of there. So don't trust her. Ever. Are we clear? Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Okay, proceed to the cabin. I wonder if we don't look at the mirror, does it like not appear at the end? I do kind of wonder about that. Oh, what the? Its exterior would suggest. Its cold stone walls yeah. press in on you, as They're if like trying to forcefully time. direct you towards your destination. The only furniture of note is a black iron altar with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. He didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. Okay, let's just approach the mirror. Walk up to the wall next to the basement. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. Life mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your. But there was a mirror. I feel like this is important gone, to do. So all of us can stop arguing about it and get to fighting. <laughs> get to fighting, mate. Okay, let's take the blade. You take the blade from the altar. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. 
Okay. An arena? Is that what it's supposed to be? Kind of like, uh, making it look like? The door to the basement Ew. creaks open. Not even any candles this time. Staircase. Its walls pressing at your sides and tightening as you descend. The air seeping from below is heavy and oppressive, with an almost sulfuric odor to it. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably Probably be doing doing her a a favor. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. She'd be even more badass this time. Is that another challenger? (laughs) Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. It does seem like we're changing her personality every time. Interesting. This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. She sounds exactly like the stubborn. (laughs) Let's get ready to fucking fight! Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. (laughs) Oh my god, are you gonna get smitten again? As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wits about you. Remember, you're here to slay the princess, not to have a good fight. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Is this her husband hotel form? <laughs> She's got like a devil thing going on about her. Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. A furry devil. Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see that death doesn't stick for either of us. Okay. The voice actress is really good at uh, making her voice sound different for each like iteration. And you brought your little knife too. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Okay. <laughs> Hear me out. <laughs> I've heard you out and I agree. <laughs> I don't need to hear you out actually because I already agree. I hope you heard all of that, Mr. Narrator. This is a lot different than the last time, but last time definitely happened. Hey, you look different. <laughs> You're kind of. Why is she kind of a baddie? <laughs> The kind of different girl. Let's let's not fight anymore. <laughs> oh man. You look exactly the same. All right. Fine. I believe you. What? What you said earlier in the woods. I believe you. I've already met the princess and the princess. Oh, she's got like hooves too. You. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If you don't know, whatever brought the two of you back to life isn't a fluke. And beyond that, do you know who doesn't remember anything that happened last time? Me. I don't remember. Well, that sucks for you. Uh, Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. Mm. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my world is still very much on the line. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Just because it bothers you, I'm going to take this even less seriously. You know the depths of my apathy. No, I don't know what you're talking about. I've never died. Do you see how alive I am right now? Would someone as alive as me already have died? Um, I don't think so. Don't worry, I'm going to do a good job. You got me. Pretty much everything you said is true. <laughs> I kind of like the lie, just because it's goofy. Don't try to lie to me. Just please take this seriously. Agreed. We can't win unless you treat this fight with the gravity it deserves. Okay, so you do remember me. Oh, I remember you all right. Mm. The best three minutes of my life. (laughs) So, why don't we do it again? Okay, Queen, is this a step on me ending? See? She wants to fight us again. There's no reason for us to stand around talking. I guess so. I'm actually here to free you. Um, let's go ahead and attack her, I guess. I don't know what happened to you since the last time we met, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. <laughs> Dead. Okay, let's attack her. Oh, here we go. Complete your destined task. You launch off the whetstone floor of the basement and catapult yourself headlong towards the princess. Here we go. Let's make this count. Okay, we got this. We got the voice of the stubborn now. Oh, we'll make it count, all right. As you bridge the gap, oh, shit. your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. Mm. But she's unfazed Ooh. by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs, cracking them like twigs and driving you oh right my God. back down. Look at those shark teeth she's before. got. Does she even have the chain on her anymore? You can hear her chain snap as oh, she struggles to recover is. from the impact. She almost looks <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> Why is she disappointed in us? Damn, that was it? Oh, 
You don't actually get it, do you? You only lasted a minute this time. That knife may be sharp, but you clearly don't want to kill me. Oh. It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun oh. if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. Oh man, should I not have talked so much? You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Okay! Don't get in your head. Reincarnation or not, this world needs you to win. She's huge, but that probably means she's slower than us. Take it slow. Think it through. And don't panic. Bleeding her out is our best course of action. Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this is through her. He is so bloodthirsty. Okay, bait an opening and outmaneuver her. Strike at her heart head on. That's what she wants, right? I say we just strike head on. I guess I can save though, just in case. If that's your plan, then that's your plan. You push off the ground, ignoring the pain in your ribs as you charge at the princess once more. You can feel flesh give way before a sudden <laughs> impact blunts She looks happy at least. Your weapon tightly lodged in the bone of her arm. She grins at you from behind her guard. Pull it out. We'll try a different angle. No, we can do this. Mm. Just keep pushing. This fucking guy. We just keep stabbing through her arm and kids to her chest eventually. We're not gonna win if our weapon's stuck in her arm. Keep pushing and launch the blade. Let's just keep pushing. The princess's grin widens as the two of you push against each other, her fiery eyes and masochistic glee practically lighting up the dreary cave. <laughs> She's kind of scary this time. Yes, you finally get it, don't you? I do. I do. What are you talking about? I guess I'll just say I do. She just wants me to go head on, right? Yeah, I guess I can. Uh... There we go. Am I ganish? It might be a little too late. I can't tell sometimes what YouTube's gonna get mad at. Nothing exists outside of us. It's just you and me, dying and coming back, clashing against each other, forever. That's not what's going on. There's an entire world at stake here. Man, narrator, shouldn't you be happy we're killing her? Yes. The fate of the world doesn't <laughs> matter. The only thing that matters is this fight. The only thing that matters is getting stronger. Oh my god. And the only way to get stronger is to win. This guy. Even if it takes us forever to get there. This guy is on some shonen anime shit. Your balance is suddenly thrown off as the princess pulls you into her knee. Ooh, yikes. It collides with your ribs and you feel them splinter, cracking like wet wood from the impact. Ugh. We're fine. You barely have enough time to oh. notice before the princess follows up and smashes her forehead against yours. Your grip loosens from the impact, Ew. the blade still wedged in her arm as Jesus. you to the cold stone floor. Still see it in her arm. I said we're fine. I didn't say you weren't fine. I was just describing <laughs> what happened. How dare you make me sound weak! You might not have said as much, but you certainly implied it. It really doesn't Ugh. matter. The princess glances down at the blade embedded in her arm with near total ignorance to pain, slides it out of its sinewy prison. You forgot this. She tosses it oh. at your feet. She's giving it back, I guess she just likes to fight. <laughs> Does she like getting stabbed? <laughs> she did kind of seem to be enjoying it. <sighs> Are you jumping the gum a little? We only died once, it doesn't mean we're immortal. Were you being metaphorical when you said that nothing exists outside of us? There is more to the world than just this cabin. I saw trees and everything on my way here. Is it just us that exist in this world? <laughs> I kind of do feel like we're, I don't know, just like in the world of a book or something. Just trying to be free though, isn't there a mortal life than a waking up change in a basement and fighting with the death on an endless loop? Actually, I actually think I'm done fighting you. I don't think this is healthy for either of us. Pick up the blade and attack her again. I guess we could try to talk to her, but I feel like she just wants to, I don't know. Probably just pick it up, because she doesn't really want to talk. You and the princess attack each other once again. Each of you dealing a single, terrible. Lethal blow. Oh yeah, should I get Peanut back out? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, does that mean we're... I feel like... <laughs> I think this is probably gonna get age restricted anyways. <laughs> I'm trying my best, at least I got the chat saved. Attack each other, you're dealing a single terrible lethal blow. Dead. Oh. Or rather, about to be dead. 
As your blade pierces her sternum, the princess buries her fist into the soft meat of your organs. You feel mm. a few horrifically painful pops, a gush of fluid, and it's over. It's finally over. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. We're just getting started. Another loot, baby. It is over. Dead is dead. I know this isn't the happiest ending for you, but you saved the entire world from ruin. There are few better endings than that. Well, are you going to listen to him? Or are you going to listen to me? Get up. Oh, damn. Oh, can I actually get up? Damn. Wait. No, that can't <laughs> be right. Your eyes bolt open and oh, you push wow. yourself back to your feet. Alive. We won, baby. Ha! I told you. I told you this wasn't over. What about her? The blade went right through her heart. What about her? If we're fine, then she's fine. Are we just gonna be fighting for eternity? No, she's dead. She has to be. No. <laughs> I had a feeling. We're all shit out of luck, aren't we? I knew it. I told you we should all believe in her. This is perfect. The princess rises from the ground, staggering slightly, one hand wrapped around the hilt of the blade still buried in her heart. We don't even need to start over anymore, do we? Mm -hmm. Let's go again. Let's just keep going, baby. She pulls the weapon from her chest, barely wincing, and hurls it at your feet. You know what to do. Damn. But she came back. What's the point of fighting her if she can just do that? All of you need to settle down. This whole situation is coming dangerously close to untethering. She clearly never actually died. You just missed her heart, that's all. Oh, we just missed her heart. Oh, mm. Of course, that's all. You were the one who said we hit her heart. Mm. You were the one who said it was finally over. Yeah, it kind of like usually seems like he can control like what's going on. Well, too. I guess I had it wrong. You guess you had it wrong. Aren't you supposed to know everything? Yeah, for real. I never said I knew everything. Close and tethering. What that's what's that supposed to be? Let's just fucking attack. That's what she wants. Nation, <laughs> you snatch the blade from the floor and stumble back to your feet. I kind of feel like she's getting more the like. Quake with adrenaline as your eyes lock across the basement floor and share a knowing look. I feel like she's getting more like demon looking too. Free from hesitation, you close the distance. Both you and the princess aiming to end each other. Your blade digs. Ah! Beat it, beat it, beat it, The impact forces the air from your lungs, stars dancing in front of your eyes as you fail to keep your bearing. You both collapse to the ground before either of you has a chance to survey the damage. And then we get up. <laughs> I just keep doing yes. Oh my god, how long are we gonna go then for? Get up. That was a good one. More. Jesus. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god! You manage to first, and sometimes she tears you before you Holy <gasps> fuck! What the fuck is that thing? Ah! In the same moment. Oh my god, I think my head's covering up that one at the bottom, but that's did you do peanut peanut? Get over here. Get over here, little guy. I need you. I need you to cover that. Jesus. You Holy up, fuck. We'll do it again. And again. And again, and again, and again. And oh again. my god. We need Peanut to cover up the whole screen this time. Oh my goodness. We're all still here. This is all gonna be okay. Isn't it? Isn't it? But he doesn't answer the voice. He'll never answer. He's gone. Oh, the narrator's gone again. What oh. are you waiting for? I'm right here. Oh, okay. Who do you think this is? She regenerated. What is this place? Oh yeah, I guess we're back in this area. Did we do this? <laughs> the peanut root. Huh. I didn't think we had it in us. But I guess that stuck up control freak was right. It's the end of the world, isn't it? It's the end of everything. Far from it. We're still here. And she's still here too. And <laughs> let's just keep going, baby. The princess stumbles and her body slumps. I feel so tired. Yeah, time to get taken over by the hand demon. Damn her, she's got some thick thighs though. Chef's kiss. <laughs> yep. You do not get the chance to respond. Nor will you ever will. It's time to leave. She's Memory gone. returns. Where did she go? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? 
Of course you're scared. <laughs> That's the end for you, but not for me. It's gonna be okay, trust me. We've been here before. But if it's so bad, like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. Screw the mirror. We just need to find the princess. It's not the end. Whatever's on the other side is gonna be nice. It's the end for you, but not for me. Um Yeah, so. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. I'm so mean to these voices. Screw that! This can't be the end. It just can't. Let's see if we've grown again. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Ooh. Ugh, you... <laughs> You've withered? What am I, FNAF animatronic? <laughs> am I withered body now? Ugh. Interesting. Look how slimy. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. Time to meet our wife, I guess. You're at the cabin. Approach her. You can take her body, right, hands? I am a growing chorus of Ugh. contradiction. A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them yet again. I'll be nice to the voices next time. All of me is changing. And yet the rest of me is still the same. She does sound more like, I don't know, a little bit different this time. Like, more mature, I guess? Like she's, you know, growing? You can't be a contradiction. Contradictions don't exist. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be. But I am also none of it. How can you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me, even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. I don't understand, like, half of what she says. It's like, ugh, I feel like it's important though, but maybe someday, someday I'll get it. Doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Hmm. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? If anything, it makes me it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. No, not really. It all seems so distant. As soon as I'm near you, I have no opinion one way or the other on the matter. I just want it all to stop. You're torturing me. I hate it. I hate you. Um, maybe I'll just say it seems so distant as soon as it I'm near does you. It seems small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. I guess I'm in a but romancer. That doesn't make any of them less special. I feel like the first one was like, coming on a little too strong. What do you think of this vessel? This one yearns to grow and struggle. Even now I feel a will pushing against mine. Not realizing that we are one, she will make for a fierce part. Withered bird, are we withered chica? Do not mourn her. We will provide her with the growth she fought for. I'm still planning to kill you once we're done. Eh, I don't think I am. You know at the end of this, once you're finished, I'm gonna kill you. Do you know what happens to the world? The worlds we leave behind. My perspectives are shadows. <laughs> You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Uh, have you figured out what you'll want when we're finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves. But none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for. Our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. Where are we, man? 
Oh man, do you still not care what I bring next? I guess I'm ready to go back. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? I feel like it's just gonna give us like vague answers, so I think I'm probably ready. And I don't think I'm really planning on killing her anymore. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Oh god. <laughs> it always scares me. <laughs> the hero and the princess, a fierce vessel. I guess we can just leave her there this time. You're on a path. That was like another woods. one. And you're here to Anyway, I guess we can just go ahead and get to the cabin. You make your All way. These up endings the are short certainly like Pokemon. We're not gonna go ignore him. <laughs> okay, let's proceed to the cabin. The interior of the blade. Okay, I guess I'll take the blade. Take I don't know if it really matters too much this time. Enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air, her voice, cat. Who's there? Yep, she's she a badass again. Dane, don't let it fool you. Okay, um, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Who are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? Great job. You gave away the element of surprise. Good luck, hero. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Focus on the task at hand. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. Okay, yeah, it wasn't a joke. I haven't decided yet. Steal your nerves and step forward. Say I haven't decided yet. I think I'm just gonna leave her here, because it's like, seems to be another option. How about you drop the knife, and the two of us just... talk. Talk. Look how reasonable like she's the way being. she says it. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Okay, drop it, tighten your grip. Uh, I guess I can draw. I don't actually know what to do. Uh, let me save. <laughs> I'll save, just to be safe. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clack. Every option seems to have an inverse, depending on if you take the blade or not, since that one action determines her main personality. That's true. Next one, don't take the knife down to the basement. Thank you. It was kind of nice seeing her be uh, nice and cute. step forward to speak with the princess face to face. Unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no... So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Okay, let's, uh... Okay, we've talked enough. What's your name? Blah, blah, blah. We've already gone through all this, so... Talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Okay, slay the princess. I'm getting you out of here. I'm going to keep you locked away down here. At least for a bit. We can get to know each other better. Keep her locked away. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too I think risky. I already did this one, if kind you of. don't deal with us one way or another, I'm going to find a way. And if you don't... I think there is, like, an option to just to leave her here forever, decision. though, right? You well, have to make a choice. Do we already do that, though? Let's when we did the sakes, staring the thing? Right one. I made my choice. I'm locking her in the basement. Yeah, I guess we can just do that. No, you think this is a fair compromise, but it isn't. Yeah, okay. No one wins here. I think this one's different. It's a chance we'll have to take. We can make this work. If we just stay here and keep watch, no one has to die. You're making a mistake. Ooh, she looks so scary. You turn the princess and make your way to the stairs. It won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But do you hear the conviction in her voice? I don't think she's bluffing. She did slip the trains before. <laughs> it's like, could she always do that? She just bite through her hand because it was fun. Either way, she dropped her mask, didn't she? You can still turn around and finish the job. Nope, we're sticking the plane and locking her down here. You'll be the death of all of us, but fine. Have it your way. Okay, I'm actually you gonna make it out. Nice. Door, locking it behind you and quickly barricading it with the heavy wooden table that once held the blade. Okay, we can make this work. 
You settle in against the far wall to watch the basement door. It isn't long before you start to drift off, your eyelids heavy with fatigue. I feel like she's going to come up here and but kill sleep me. sleep doesn't come. Instead, your rest is broken by a piercing, oh. wailing voice calling out to you from the other side of the door. Oh, Jesus. I know you're still there. <laughs> Why don't you make things easier on yourself and let me out? <laughs> okay, girl! It's not like this little door I'll hold for very long anyways. Um, it's probably a good idea to try to get back on my good side. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! She sounds terrifying. Oh, God. Of the princess you saw are more like something out of a nightmare. <laughs> I'm gonna make her nice next time. As she violently rattles the door, you do your best to shut her out of your mind. Oh, shit. When I get out of here, I'm going to pick you apart piece by Peace. I won't forget what you did, and I'll <laughs> never forgive it. You don't know the kind of enemy you've made tonight. Oh, Jesus. It doesn't sound like she's getting any weaker. No, it doesn't. <laughs> getting stronger. What is this? I thought we already did the demon rune last time. Uh, threaten me all you want. All it does is ease my guilty conscience. So all that was just an act, wasn't it? You're not really innocent or harmless. You're not even a princess. You're a monster. I could be innocent or harmless. If I want to be, teasing me with fresh air and a chance to finally live freely doesn't inspire me to play nice. Oh, God. You put the princess's threats out of your mind as best you can and huddle up against the wall. Oh, God. You <laughs> take a nice a little nap while she bangs on the wall. Cabin. The ruckus has stopped and the door to the basement is ajar. It's lock broken and the table shoved out of the way. That's not good. Where is she? Oh! Helping me get out of that awful basement. <laughs> this does seem like the demon root. <laughs> I guess last room was the shonen root. This one's the demon one. You try and stumble to your feet, but as the princess draws near, it's as though your body simply stops working. Oh shit! It isn't all at once. The paralysis comes in waves. First your toes go numb, and then your feet, and then your legs. You lie prone on the floor of the cabin, unable to do anything but witness her approach. She looks so demented! Whose side are you on? Yours, of course. But I have a duty to uphold the truth. Lying about the facts of the situation doesn't change them. So helpless. I can take my time with you, can't I? She oh, steps closer. Sure. One silent footfall at a time. Oh my god, her eyes! As you feel your organs shutting down one by Jesus one. Christ. Or maybe I can't take my time with you. You don't look well. A little green around the gills. Jesus! A shame. If you'd only help me get out of here, we could have done such <laughs> wonderful things together. We could have been in love. Actually, I probably would have killed you. Your lungs stop drawing in breath. And your heart freezes in your chest. Oh my god. You have seconds left. What is she doing to me? <laughs> I'd say better luck next time. But we both know this is the end. Are we just dying Don't of fear? Me. It can't be. This Oof. can't actually be how everything ends. That was a pretty spoopy route. I'm sorry, but it is. Everything goes dark. And you die. Sad. Okay, nice. The nightmare. <laughs> I want to visit her again. <laughs> Can we just run away this time? Oh God! A terrible sense of. If he doesn't remember what happened. Shh. Oh. What if he hears us? Okay, the paranoid. That's a very good question, little voice. What if he does hear you? Shit. <laughs> Damn it! You're hurting me. I think you'll find yourselves very hard pressed to keep any secrets from me. Not that it matters right now. We're all trapped in the I same said, head, you know. This is the first time we've met. Still. I'd rather not get off on the wrong foot. Okay, I guess we'll just go to the cabin. <laughs> A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. I don't think lying and cheating is her thing. She was yeah, very direct with us last time. Or at least she was direct with us after we decided to lock her away. Yeah, that's true. It doesn't matter. Don't trust anyone. He do be very paranoid. Proceed to the cabin. Wonder what it's gonna look like this time. 
The interior oh. of the cabin is plain. Oh, the smooth can't wood lock of the, the door this time. Almost featureless. The Yikes. only furniture of note is a lone table, knocked on its side in the corner of the room. A pristine blade stands between you and the open, inviting basement doorway. Okay. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want. Hold on. What happened to the door? Yeah, for real. There was a door here last time. <laughs> I was like, you can't do what you did last time, Weeby. It's just an empty frame. She's already got now, hasn't she? Oh, Jesus. And she's ready for us. She's been waiting. Can't you feel her eyes on us? I'm going to need all of you to pull yourselves together. The princess has not already gotten out. But if you keep getting stuck in your head like this, you're going to struggle to get the job done. I don't really blame him for being so paranoid after the last <laughs> day. That was pretty scary. So deep breath in, deep breath out. Your task awaits, and only you can do it. Okay, I guess we'll look at the mirror you just walk in up case to the it's wall important. Next to the empty basement door. What are you talking about? Clean the mirror. Reach for As the always. Make it go away. Clearly, there was something in there worth investigating if he wants it hidden so bad. I feel like paranoid's also me. I'm like a mixture of paranoid and smitten. Okay, take the blade. I guess so. You reach down and pick the blade up she off was... the floor. What a blade even do to anything to her? the princess and save the world without a weapon. She was like a ghost. Good. Steel can't lie to us. Is it gonna be enough, though? Couldn't you have given us something else? Something, I don't know, <laughs> better than a knife? <laughs> Could we have a bomb? You don't know if a knife's really gonna do much to her. The blade is the only thing you need to finish your task. Ugh, easy for you to You're say. More than capable of pulling this off, so long as you don't lose faith in yourself. Those are the words of someone who oh. knows he's sending us to our death. Oh, what the hell? There's, like, people looking at us through the mirrors. Ugh. Like ghosts or something. She invites him over a little ghost. Buddy is... This whole cabin is different than I remember it Very being. Very different. I'm not the only one who sees her in the window, right? She knows that we're here. See something. Calm down. Maybe the three of you just think everything is different because you haven't been here before. Enough of this past... So focus up. A lot. Okay. You oh, cross what over the, the threshold and onto a series of isolated <laughs> steps cool. suspended in darkness. Just entering the abyss. Cool, cool. More eyes, too. You never mentioned the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I think we need holy water for this one. The air seeping up from below reminds you of fresh lightning and static, as if you're descending into a place that isn't meant for a creature of flesh and blood. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her cruel and playful voice prances up the stairs. Oh, I didn't think you'd come back. Oh, God. We're gonna have a lot of fun, you and I. <laughs> I don't know if I... I don't think I can fix her. Not this, not this time, at least. Okay, we need a game plan. Last time we were here, just being oh. close to her was enough to kill us. The eyes are blinking. How hard is it to throw in? <laughs> we can just throw in the knife at her. That'll work really well. I'm sure we'll we'll get a hole in one with that one. I'm gonna talk to her. I don't need a plan. I'm just gonna kill her, Mr. Narrator. It seems to think I can do it. I don't know why you're all being. I don't know why you're being all such pessimist right now. <laughs> Girl, did you see her last time? Step off into the void between the stair. Oh, step off into the void. Oh, what the hell? That's kind of cool. I want to do that. Step off into the void. You oh. attempt to step off the stairs and into the pitch black surrounding them, but you're stopped by an invisible force. Why did you do that? What did you think would happen? I don't know, man. I wanted to find out. Um, I don't know if fall I don't know if falling to infinite void seemed better than going downstairs and dying. I'm just scared. Exactly. How would falling into an infinite void be better than anything? Oh God, too Make late. Make your way to the bottom of the stairs. As you emerge, Jesus. you find yourself between two loose rows of white wooden planks oh, suspended God. in nothingness. A cool, smattering of cool. cobblestones visible against the inky black of the basement mark where the floor should be, forming vague pathways. At what seems to be the end of the room, they diverge in opposite directions, left and right. If it can bleed, it can die, right? I don't know if she can bleed. We haven't seen her bleed yet, at least. She could be anywhere, and there's nowhere for us to hide. We're completely exposed. Are you really not going to comment on how weird this place <laughs> yeah, is? Yeah, for real. No, I'm not. Somebody needs to be the voice of reason here, and it certainly isn't you. Excuse me. 
I'm being incredibly reasonable. You're the one who's just matter-of-factly describing whatever the hell we're looking at like it's an ordinary basement. I'm going to die down here. I don't want to die again. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Please stop saying that. You're only going to make things worse. Just pick a direction and start moving. You definitely are going to die, though. <laughs> We've died like 20 times already. I wouldn't give it too much thought if I were you. It doesn't really matter. Because either way you go... I'm going to find you. <laughs> cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's go right. Go back the way you can. <laughs> Just fucking ditch. Let's go right. Right is always right. You turn to the right. That's what I always believe. A faintly outlined path lies before you. There you oh, are. Oh, shit. I told you I was going to find you. What the fuck is that? As the princess oh. approaches. Your legs suddenly go numb. She catches like a ghost or something. Your arms quickly follow. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think we're gonna. I don't think that knife is gonna do shit to her. Oh, you brought your little knife with you again. Cute. Thank you. It's so cute. How you think that will do anything? There has to be a way out of this. Think, think. What did you do? Pull yourself together. She isn't supposed to be like this. I wonder how many times I'll get to play with you before you break. <laughs> What's up with her face, too? It looks like a mask, almost. <laughs> oh, shit! It begins to coagulate. It's as if every part of your being is coming to a lurching halt. Uh. Lungs. Liver. Ugh. Nerves. Heart. Lungs. Liver. Nerves. What is he doing? Your lungs oh! fall in a desperate gulp of air as your eyes shoot back open. Oh my god, we're still alive? What are you doing? I'm working. Do you want this body to function? <laughs> or do you want... And then it oh! stops once more as your body reapproaches death. Is he trying to like manually control his body? Heart, work heart. Lungs, work lungs. Okay, whatever you were doing, please just start doing it. Again. I guess it was working. Are you sure about that? Are you sure that's what you want? Dropped me some more. You have seconds left. Yes, I'm sure. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. It is weirdly working. Again, your eyes shoot open Holy as you shit. gasp for breath. Nerves. She probably loves it. She's like, wow, you're gonna last a really long time. I can play with you forever. You can't decide what you want to do, can you? Oh well, standing there gasping like a fish is more fun than oh. dead. Even if you look ridiculous. Oh, you can hear him in the background still. Heart. Oh, that's cool. If she isn't attacking us. Heart. Why? Lungs. The why doesn't matter. She's already proven her ill intent. Heart. Don't lose sight of your mission. I also use this to calm down. Oh, interesting. Your weapon is still in your hands. Strike at her and end this before it's too late. Oh my god, why don't you finish me off? What good am I to you alive? What do you want from me? What happened after you killed me last time? I was sitting here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't just let you leave. You're a lunatic, you know that, right? I am what I am. And right now, I'm in control. Okay. You might want to be a little nicer than me. I'm sorry, girl! Ooh! One gloved finger, its tip hovering just over your skin, seeming to enjoy the lingering threat. Oof. But she withdraws. Sparing you another <sighs> momentary glimpse of death. Oh my god, can she just like touch me and kill me? Never. What am I going to do? What? Get am I to you lie? What do you want from me? I tried to leave while you suffocated, but that stupid cabin wouldn't let oh. me. So I started to drag your body out with me and then, well, you died before I could get to the door. And then I was here, mm. and now you're here too. It seems like our death is what restarts the loop. I don't think I can move without you, and dead doesn't oh. count. And as much as I love what we have going on, I have bigger plans than tormenting one poor little creature forever. I want to lead. <laughs> Yay, we get to be her little pet. Why won't you finish me off? Because I don't want to. And even if I did, I don't have to. Look at the way you're struggling to stay alive. It's taking everything you have to keep your heart pumping right now. And I'm enjoying the show. <sighs> the princess leans forward. Bring her masked lips close to your ear. Jeez. If I want to see you die, all I need to do is break your concentration. 
heart, lungs, Ooh, liver, nerves, nerves heart, heart, lung, liver, nerves. Mind. She slowly runs Ooh. her velvet glove across the base of your neck. It feels like static. And then oh, we're so dead. Shit, my stop. I snap out of it. Heart, lung, or liver, nerves. Heart, lung, or liver, nerves. <laughs> Come on. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Go back. One moment, and then you're gone. Jesus. I think it's getting faster. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Ah, and there's the fear. She pulls away. Ooh. But that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? I've already done that. If you need me alive, then why did you throw me on the stairs? Why didn't you try being nice to me? I am nice. You're alive, aren't you? <laughs> I'm being so nice right now, bestie. And you died of fright as soon as you saw me last time. I didn't think keeping you alive was an option. But it looks like that's not a problem anymore. At least not for me. Okay, we literally died of fright, damn. You seem I was kind of wondering. So I was sitting here to stop you from destroying the world. I can't let you leave. Destroy is such an unenlightened way of putting it. So sudden, so violent, so little nuance. I'm not going to destroy the world, but I am going to hold it in my hands and squeeze it. Well, that's good. You hear that, narrator? She's not going to destroy the world. We can just leave, right? <laughs> right? I'm going to make it afraid, just like I've made you afraid. The world yeah. needs fear, doesn't it? Every terror I bring would make the good times so much better. Well, I'm practically doing a public good. So what harm is there really in letting me out? Oh, God. People will die if you do to them what you've done to me. Everyone dies eventually. Oh, God. They're all full of sweat, rising like static. things, and in the end, each and every one of them gets unwound. And then those things get to become a new everybody. Just to come apart all over again. All I want is to be there for it. I want to watch it happen. And maybe do a little unwinding myself. Is that really so much to ask? And if I let you out, then do we go our separate ways? Do I become your little pet? No, definitely not. If you're what I need to leave this place, chances are you're pretty useful. I think I'll keep you right by my side. <laughs> A little good luck charm to make sure I stay free. Oh, uh, how am I gonna? How long will I last so, like, not dying from fright? Don't worry. I'll make sure to take good care of you. I promise. <laughs> I already bought you a cage. Being around you is agony. I'm not gonna stick around. We both know that you don't have a say here, so you should just look on the bright side. That's what the bright side is for you, but I'm positive you can find it if you look hard enough. I'll just die then. And then we'll wind up right back where we started. Round and round we'll go. I wonder what will be different next time. Maybe you'll actually be able to move a limb. Who knows? Damn, she is right though. always going to win. Can you be nice again? <laughs> I liked it when you were the damsel. Are you sure about that? Give it enough tries and I'm bound to win eventually. And maybe you don't come back like I do. Is that a bet you're willing to take? Imagine climbing a mountain of lifetimes, and when you finally reach the summit, when you finally win, the only view you find is me, and then I push you, and you go tumbling all the way down those millions upon millions of battered and broken pieces of you that couldn't make the cut. Jesus. What then? Would you have it in you to climb again? It sounds like a lot of effort for nothing. When instead we can just leave this place together. Yeah. It's a love story? <laughs> I'm literally saying it's a love story. Just, just say yes. Actually, it doesn't matter if you say yes, because I'm going to fucking take you with me anyways. Oh my god. Wow, there's a lot of stuff we can talk about. If you want to work together, can you at least turn off this whole organ shutting down? Yeah, for real! Like I, said, I am what I am. It's not my fault that you can't handle being around me. It's not my fault. How about I just kill you instead? The princess cocks her head, Ooh. neck cracking uncomfortably. And you can't help but imagine a smile carve its way from ear to ear on the other side of her mask. I think it's getting faster. Thinking about that knife, are we? Ooh! That little theory to the test. See how it plays out. But I don't think you're going to like what happens. Because even if you make me dead, you're not getting out of here. This place is mine. Ooh. And I'm not 
not giving you the stairs unless I'm leaving with you. These sound effects are cool, like the static and stuff. Whatever I fuse to let you out, what happens? We're stuck down here together until you change your mind. Live static, and a skipped beat as she touches your shoulder and whispers in your ear. No. Oh. Oh no. You got this paranoid. Only until your heart finally gives out. When you die, I'll find myself somewhere new. And before too long, you'll be there too. That's how this all works, right? And a lot can happen before then. I'm sure I can get creative. Oh my gosh, we don't have to be enemies. We can work together. We can be friends even. I'm not going to... Okay, we just have one more explorer. So I guess we can do this. <laughs> Yay! We can be besties! Not doing any of this. I'm not helping you leave. I'm not going to try to kill you. So toss your worst. Toss the blade and remain with your nightmare. Jesus. <laughs> okay, let's get out of here. Leave together. Find you and I'll let you leave. Leave together. <laughs> okay, I kind of want to leave together just to see what happens. I don't know. I feel bad for paranoid. It's like, are you serious? I can't do this forever. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> oh God. We can save her or fix her. No, I'm not going to let this happen. I, before you can utter another word, your body stops moving. And do you think you could just wrest control away from us? This body's yeah, barely real. functioning as it is. Doesn't the world end if we fail to stop her? Won't letting us die here just make it end faster? Shit. Lungs, liver, nerves, heart. With a flick of the princess's oh wrist, the stairs slide back into place. I can't believe you're making me watch you damn everyone <laughs> to torment and oblivion. Come on, it might work out! The world definitely resets when we die, so I'm just curious. Yeah, I think it resets too if uh, she gets to the outside too, right? Because that happened in that like waiting ending. You're not wrong. Yeah. But maybe you should let me handle the feedback. Just focus yeah, for on real. keeping us alive. <laughs> just keep trying. <laughs> right. Besides, I get the feeling she's telling the truth. She needs us alive. How about how about you go first, Bestie? Are you scared of turning your back to me? You don't have to be worried that I'm going to do something bad. You're too important to me now. That's true. Besides, what if I lost track of you and trapped the stairs on accident? Oh my god. I wouldn't want that to happen. And I don't think you'd want that to happen either. So go on. I do think go she needs ahead. us alive. She urges you forward. Uh, like one might a reluctant pet. We'll see. Okay, you fine. Place a shaky foot on the first step and begin your ascent from the basement. You can feel the static prickling of the princess on your neck, your limbs buzzing with pins and needles. An uncomfortable and constant reminder that you exist. And that your existence is so very precarious. You're almost there. Ugh, the only thing left between you and the cabin is the now shut door to the basement. It would be a real shame if it had locked behind you. <laughs> oh, you snake! <laughs> open a door when we first got here. Oh yeah. Was from last time. What the hell? I told you we shouldn't trust him. Yeah, what the fuck? I was like, I just realized that too. I know he's messing with us. You can't lose your cool. We need you right now. Remember? Yes, I remember. Of course I remember. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. <laughs> this is so frustrating. Heart, lungs, Heart, liver, lungs, nerves. <laughs> and you? You'd really rather us die down here than let her out? Of course I would. As much as I want you to have a happy ending, the fate of the world is a little more important if you still have a weapon. Oh my god. You can still make this right. The freaking narrator, dude. I think the door is locked. Explorer, try the door. Oh, look at that. It's locked. What I think the door is locked. You just have to give it a tug. Um, I, I guess? Oh! Against the door. She did it? The lock gently clicks open in response to your effort, and the door creaks on its hinges. This isn't right. That's not even the way it's supposed to swing. It's supposed to swing out. Oh my god, is she like omnipresent? How'd she do that? You're not nearly as powerful as you'd have us think, mm. are you? Interesting. Um, 
Eh. Anyways, like he said, you're not really in control here, are you? It kind of seems like she is now. I never said I was. If I was in control here, why would I need you to slay her? I don't know. Secret reasons? The door is open. What are you dawdling for? It's time for us to go. The world is waiting. <laughs> Stop talking to yourself. Let's get out of here. The princess moves past you and into the cabin. This is it. This is your final moment to make things right. Kill her. <laughs> it's so weird just like leaving with her when she's <laughs> so demonic and crazy. I thought you wanted us to slay her. It's the same thing. Do it. Do it now. Do it now or everything is over. Okay. What do we do? I said, what do we do? Oh, do uh, you want to hear from me now? I was like, you asking me or paranoid? Yes. Well, I thought you needed me to run the autonomic nervous system. We do, but this is important. Look, I'll even do it myself. Just tell us who to trust. Uh, brain? Heart. Mm -hmm. Right. Heart. Lungs. Lungs, <laughs> liver, nerves. <laughs> I can do it this time. Okay, thanks. I got it. Heart, <laughs> lungs, liver, nerves. <laughs> it sounds so Heart, different, like so unsure. Heart, lungs. Oh, it's the paranoid sounded so like, I don't know, asmr -y. You're terrible at this. I know. I'm doing my best. Yes, it's very hard to stay focused on running things when other people are talking to you, isn't it? What are you doing? Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. Finally, I can. Oh Jesus! Uh, it's getting now, closer. Now, are you asking me? Running everything kind of feels liver, like popping in and out of nerves. consciousness. It's Heart, easy to lose track of things. They were asking you liver, for your blessing to trust me. Nerves. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> Slay! Hey, paranoid. Slay! I love you. Really? So you'd have them trust her. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Oh, of course not. We don't trust anybody here but ourselves, but I guess that leaves us back where we started, doesn't it? I suppose if I had to make a choice, I'd pick the one that doesn't make our organs shut down. Ah, uh, damn. Thank you for your gracious show of support. <laughs> I love that he said that, though. <laughs> but that's a marginal preference. I'll have to deal with him later. I just uh, have to deal with him while our organs are intact. Well, I like you just barely, barely more than I like her. Whatever. You heard what he had to say. So whether you trust me or not, killing her is still the best, nay, the only option you have worth taking. All right. I'm done. You can let me take over again. Finally, that was awful. I really don't know how you do it. Heart. He sounds so cool when he says it. You've been standing there staring blankly for a while now. And I have to say my patience is running a little thin. So don't make a lady wait any longer, okay? Open oh. the door. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, okay. Let's just fucking slay her. Let's try. Concentrates into a single fine point, and you strike out against the princess, ignoring the constant reminders of your breaking body. She doesn't even move. As the blade sinks into her heart. <laughs> She's just chilling. We, we did it. We actually did it. <laughs> Whoa, well, we did it, guys. We slayed the princess. Yay. <laughs> you actually went for it. Oh, you're going to regret this. I can be so much more terrible for you than I am now. Oh, God. Can she? <laughs> she can get worse. It's like the I can fix her versus I can make her worse. In her final moments, oh. the princess lunges forward, tackling you, and you both plunge into the endless abyss of her basement labyrinth. But the two oh. you, fall, you rip your blade from her chest, tightly clutching it in your hands. Have fun falling forever. Oh. I'll see you when you finally decide to die. Oh, hey, we fell off the stairs into the endless abyss. Was it her, like, uh, making her, uh, t like, <laughs> was it her making it to where I couldn't fall before? She tears herself away from you. Tumbles away into the darkness. You are alone. Okay. And you are full. Terminal velocity ending. But you saved the world. You should be proud of yourself for seeing this through. I don't want to get any compliments from you, narrator Sand. Oh. Mm. I, I can stop now, can't I? Oh, this is much better. We might be falling forever, but thank God I don't have to stay that shit anymore. I can. Are, uh, are we really gonna fall forever? Mm. Can't you 
narrator some stairs out of it. Yeah, for real. But she was the one who controlled this place, wasn't she? Oh, he's probably gone. Now she's dead. I don't like to think what that means for us. The narrator's probably gone by now, right? It means you're falling. Oh, there he is. Forever. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no, I hate this. You continue to fall. Forever's gonna end <laughs> eventually, right? God, that kind of sucks. Like, uh, with the other ending, too, we just had to, like, wait um, until, like, the, I don't know, like, the, you know, dungeon, like, evaporated or, like, you know, destroyed itself from, like, time. And I wonder how, like, long this really does feel like to the hero. Does it really feel like hundreds and hundreds of years or what? No, it won't. That's the whole point of forever. It doesn't end. You continue to fall, and you will only continue to fall. Only gotta eventually meet the hand monster. I feel sick. It doesn't have to be forever, though. Does it? What do you mean? We still have a way out. No. Clutched in our hands. Oh, just kill ourselves. You suggesting I mean... we kill ourselves? <laughs> Sorry, you do. <laughs> Sewer slide, that's it's what I meant to say. Stopped us before. It's probably the age restricted anyways. That's a terrible idea. You've already saved the entire world from ruin. Why would you want to die? Yeah, I guess he would die from old age at some point, too, or, like, starvation or something. Because right now, you don't want us to do that. You're right. I don't. But if we've already saved the world, then why does it matter if we die? Why do you care? I just do. I value life. Every life. Even yours. <laughs> Especially yours. Why? What do you mean, why? I think it's perfectly reasonable to value life. Exactly. I don't have to answer that. Oh yeah, dehydration too. That'd probably be the first thing. It's not like it matters if I die, I'll just come back again. I've got the best company I could ask for! You guys, what more do I need? I can stay entertained forever. I don't know, falling forever doesn't seem too bad to me. Am I not a creature of biology? Won't I starve or die of dehydration before forever happens? That's a grim thought, isn't it? That's what I was thinking. But I suppose you're right. You are a creature of biology. Something will happen to you before forever comes along. I guess I didn't say human, too. I mean, I guess it was already established a while ago that we were not a human. We don't have to starve to death fall into an infinite void. Oh my goodness, we don't. You have our way out. You. Yeah. <laughs> Slay yourself. <laughs> oh, drop the blade? That's wild. <laughs> I mean, I guess otherwise we're just going to be stuck here. I don't know, falling forever. I think I'm cool with slaying ourselves. That's a good way to put it that you two probably won't mind. I don't like this, but I suppose there's not much I can do to stop you, is there? You raise Ooh. the blade to your neck and slit your carotid artery. Here we go. Uh, I do feel like it's better than starving to death. Wait a peanut. Everything goes dark and you die. Oh, the wraith. Oh, wow, what the hell? We got another one. You're on a path in What the, the fuck? Shit. This really doesn't end, does it? I saved, right? It doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think I did. I think I did. It doesn't matter if we kill her. It doesn't matter if she kills us. It just goes on and on and on and on. We've tried doing it our way, and we've tried I don't want to see her again! I think the only way left is hers. Oh, the, the voice of the opportunist! <laughs> we got another one! Are you suggesting we let her out? I guess maybe we should have done that last time. Who knows? And why shouldn't we? It's obvious she's the one with the real power here. We might as well ingratiate ourselves to our terrifying new overlord. You kind of sound like a simp again. <laughs> okay. So, you've already been here. More than once, even. Great. So, you probably already know all about <laughs> Don't her. Don't need to go through all, all this again, do I? to the world. Then let me remind you how catastrophic it would be if you helped her leave in any way. If she gets out, the world ends and everyone ends with it. Yourself included. See, it's that last part I'm not so sure about. We've ended twice now. We even ended her once. But it didn't matter, because it still threw us right back into these woods. Ah, oh, the woods look so weird now. This place feels a bit different though, doesn't it? I don't even know what I'd call it, but... It's definitely not the same path in the woods anymore. That's all the more reason to take this seriously. If the path isn't the same, it means that her influence is spreading. And the world has already mm. started to end. Okay. Her influence? Is that how this works? I really shouldn't have said that. Yeah. It'll make your task more difficult. 
But now it's out, you could always take that information as a sign of goodwill between us and do your <laughs> job, alright? Should we just kill her this time? I don't know! <laughs> I don't think we're gonna successfully kill her though. Well, then, if the world's rushing to an end, that's all the more reason for us to rush over to the cabin and make ourselves useful. It's all about making a good impression. If we're useful, there's a place for us. This opportunist is because I trusted her a little bit. Are you the same narrator I met the other loops? You were quick to accept what we've been through here. Suspicious yeah, for real. Quick. Suspicious. If I had to make a wager, I'd say yes and no. What does that mean? Mm. I haven't met you. Non-answer. You've clearly met me. It sounds to me like you're hopping between parallel realities, in which case the me you just met here is the same collection of experiences as the me you met at all of those other beginnings, but their continuity breaks the moment you say or do anything, in effect making them all separate. So yes, I'm the same me, but ever since the moment we started talking, I'm different. Little peanuts back there. All the more reason to side with her, really. It takes a bullshit artist to recognize a bullshit artist, and I'm one of the best in the business. So trust me when I say, he's full of it. <laughs> I do agree with that. They've clearly all been through some harrowing experiences. Don't let their baggage influence your decisions. You have the ability to see things clearly. I suggest. They're trying to influence it. me too, dude. We killed her and been killed by her, and neither of those things have gone well for us. If we're going to fall through this loop forever, eventually we're going to get out. Let her out. We might as well do it now. I guess so. I was like, I guess letting her out is the better thing to do. I guess I got really close to doing that before, but I don't know. It was just because Paranoid was like, oh, we should kill her. And I was like, oh, I like Paranoid. I'll just do what he says to do. What happens if we don't, um, what happens if we don't go to the cabin? That's another option. That's true. I was going to do that next time, probably. There's something else we haven't tried. Turn around. <laughs> I don't know if I want to see her again. What happens? Is she going to come after me? You were supposed to come visit me, bestie. <laughs> Why are you leaving? You have already committed to my completion. <laughs> you cannot go further astray. I kind of had a feeling. Okay, well, I tried at least. Oh god, I guess You're we can just do a that. Dizzying amount of assumptions. Your perceived reality looping twice before does not mean it will continue to do so forever. Those little voices have already drawn attention to the fact that even the path is different. The world itself is at a tipping point. Know that there is always a choice. Even if you were stuck in an infinite loop, there's no reason to assume that the mere nature of the infinite would force you to make any specific choice. You do have free will, as much as things will be easier if you didn't. And you can just keep making the correct choice forever. Do you see how little authority he has? He's practically just begging us at this point. <laughs> she at least takes what she wants. She's inspirational, really. She's, she's kind of hot, actually. Now that I think about it, too. <laughs> I like that whole disappearing ghost shit that she does. Everyone is manipulating us, but we're starting to see the threads now just have to avoid getting tangled up in them. That's a hear me out that I don't agree with. <laughs> I agree with the devil version, but not not the scary ghost version. Okay, let's just go to the cabin. Continue down the path towards the cabin. It isn't long before you're steps mm. away from your destination. I don't think you need any words of warning. I think you know what's in there, and despite your protestations, I think you know what you need to do. Of course we do. We've been over it. <laughs> Find the one in charge and make sure she knows how helpful we are. Make sure she steps I on don't us. Like any of our options here. It feels like we're being driven down the tracks to some awful inevitability. There must be something we're missing. Something mm. that would make everything make sense. I feel like paranoid's kind of like a. I don't know, one of the more rational ones. Maybe it's just because I'm paranoid. I'm like, this guy's talking my language. Maybe letting her out really is the answer. Whatever. You don't want to listen to me? Do it then. Let her out. See what I care. Yeah, I think we should. Are you going to use reverse psychology on me? Or have you just given up? Oh, let's just sit in the cabin. The oh, interior what of the, the cabin fuck? is long and dark. Ugh. A single narrow hallway stretching far into the just distance. Just the mirror this time. Curtains billow out from tall windows on either side, it's obscuring pretty. the path forward, fluttering helplessly as opposing gusts of wind rush into the building clashing and joining and driving everything forward. The only furniture of note is hmm. Hmm. 
That's strange. Did you actually notice it this time? That's strange. Is it the mirror? The mirror? Oh, no. No, there isn't a mirror. What's strange is that there isn't much of anything in here at all, aside from the curtains. There's supposed to be a pristine oh. blade. Why isn't there a pristine blade? <laughs> it doesn't work, so there's not even any reason to make that an option. Of course there isn't a mirror. There wasn't one mm -hmm. last time either, so why would it be there this time? Hint, hint, wink, wink. Let's be mindful of our position, boys. Without the knife, we lose part of our bargaining power. We should fold and beg for mercy as <laughs> soon as we see her. I'm sure we have too much self-respect to do something so worm-like, right? That's probably what I'm going to do. <laughs> we tend to have a conversation as equals. We did kill her last time. Yeah, hopefully she's not still mad about that. Yeah, We're uh, over it, right, girl? She sort of let us do that, didn't she? And again, we don't have a blade. And look at the bright her knife side. Now. At least everybody knows exactly where worms stand in the pecking order. At the bottom. Which is the most important part, if you think about it, because it gives everybody else something to stand on. The bedrock, if you will. She probably did steal it. She'll understand the value of that. Okay, let's get you the mirror make part your way over with. You towards the gaping maw that awaits you. Your fraying nerves buzz with trepidation, the chill wind raising your hackles as it gently pushes you forward towards the darkness at the end of the hallway. You can't shake the feeling that you're being mm. watched. Don't see people outside the windows this time, at least. Oh, do we? Do we feel like we're being watched? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. At least you're admitting to it now. Who says being watched is a bad thing? Oh my god. If we haven't done anything wrong, we don't have anything to worry about. <laughs> I'm sure she knows we're on her side. This guy's like the toxic positivity voice. You stop as you reach the end of the hallway. I presume in front of whatever mirror isn't actually there. Bye, Smithy. Thanks for coming by. Wipe the mirror clean. The mirror's going to go away, and she's going to stop us. <laughs> we better brace ourselves. I can tell you right now, there's going to be a jump scare. I've played a lot of indie horror games. You reach your arm forward Ugh. into the pitch black of the opening. Oh, that was a close one. Mm -hmm. All that stress and lead up for nothing. You better get started, buddy. Heart, lungs, liver, nerve, nerves. Hopelessly staring into the void. I'm glad I made a lasting impression. Shit. Where is she? Mm. You feel something long and frigid coil Ooh. around your ankle. Your heart skips a beat, standing in muted shock for one long, frozen moment. And then it, she, the it. princess, constricts your bones. Ooh! <laughs> I guess we're going to chapter four! <laughs> I guess it makes sense she wants a little bit of revenge. I'm not going to go with you this time after you stabbed me last chapter. I see pain. Up Jesus. A deep Makes sense. Flooding your veins as your legs, numb with the shock of it, collapse, and you collapse with them. Yikes. Oh, with the no! visage of the princess. Her hand grips what your leg fuck? in a steel vice. Her grin carved jagged from ear to ear, crowded cool! with too many long and crooked teeth. Oh my God! <laughs> it looks nothing like her anymore. You killed me last time. And that was after you tried to lock me away forever. I was so, oh, so shit. close to freedom. But then you took my body away from me. Oh, she's pissed! I don't blame her. I did kind of tease her. So now, I'm going to take yours. And I'm going to walk it out of here. Okay, okay, girl. And you, you need to watch me do it. Completely helpless. Just like you left me. She is. <laughs> Great, we're all on the same page then. The important part now is that we let her know that we're completely on board with this. No more pretty. Are you still simping for her? <laughs> Just let her know that we. I still love you. It doesn't matter what's on the outside. It's what I see. What's on the inside? <laughs> her inside's ugly too, bro. <laughs> She's evil. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no more pretty privilege for her. Is a good idea. Not like this. Oh, don't have second thoughts. This has to happen. It's clearly the only way we save our skin and get out of it. How the hell is this guy still positive <laughs> after all this? Have those second thoughts. Have them now. Oh my lord. Okay, look, we're I think we're even you know, you killed me, I killed you. We both did a lot of things we didn't like. <laughs> so like, you know, I think this uh, come 
Come on, come on. I think, I think water the bridge. I think you forgot something. Like the part where all this started when you left me to languish in a pit all by myself. Now it becomes something so much worse. And it's all <laughs> thanks to you. I just got like that whispery thing in the background too. Do you see how ugly I am now? This is all your fault. I used to be hot. I just want to get it over with. You've lost your chance to call the shots. There's no going back to fix it now. You can either look on in horror or celebrate my freedom. But either way, you're about to become a passenger. I never wanted to hurt you. I don't even know how I got here. I'm a victim in all of this too, you know? Wouldn't possessing me again, against my will, make you better than me? No better than me? You don't have to be evil. You don't have to do it! <laughs> but you don't have to do this. Do you need to take my body? Can I just open the door for you? Oh, you mean like last time. But this time I mean it, girl. Oh, we're past the point of compromise. I'm taking your body, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh my god. Enough talking. We'll have plenty of time for chit chat once this place is far behind us. Ooh. Oh, she just all bones! The rest of the princess's body emerges. Her proportions all wrong, limbs bent and curling, moving in ways that defy your understanding. Her stretches until her face is practically touching yours. Oh, she's got like no nose! As she twists to look at you from a fresh angle. <laughs> she kind of reminds me of... Who's that? Crap, what's her face from the Emperor's New Groove? The, like, evil old lady? You sure I don't you know why I can't think of her name. Us? Can't you, like, manifest a rock right on top of her head? I'm sure one of y'all will know who I'm talking about, though. Of you, along with her. Not that I even can manifest a rock. Besides, I thought you all wanted to free the <laughs> Now, now you see why we don't let this bitch out! Not like this. You don't even have a weapon. So I'm afraid you're out uh. of luck, which unfortunately means that I, and the rest of the world... Yzma, yes! Too. That's who it was. Look, she's mad at us. I get it. But it's nothing we can't clear up. Dead girl walking! Don't worry. I'm what you might call a smooth talker. I like things out. She just starts breaking into that. I'm a dead girl walking! <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know if you're a girl anymore. I don't know what you are. Just a monster. Just a skeleton. Oh my god, I'm crying. That's so funny. With her like that. Good luck with that. Oh my Doesn't god. Like she's too keen on forgiveness. Okay, deep breath. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. <laughs> Delulu. Voice of the Delulu. Is, it, is there any conceivable way that this is fine? Yeah, I'm right. This is fine. It's better than last time. At least our organs aren't failing. At least I can actually talk. I'm still crying about that. Just seeing dead girl walking. Maybe she likes show tunes. Your vision Ooh, fades. Ooh, she eating me! Has opened the membrane of your soul. I guess she did like chew through her arm before, so it's not really. <laughs> I guess I really shouldn't put it past her. You're awake. Eyes once again fixed on the long hallway. Mm. Your vision she swimming as the princess's command reverberates inside your skull. Oh. Her voice is all encompassing. You feel. Oh, wrong. like she entered inside my body. That's what she was talking about doing. She's <laughs> gonna be inside me, girl bossing me around. So cramped in here. Like there's some sort of growth trying to push uh. us all out. Ooh! I know. You rise Ooh. to your feet, though the pain in your ankle is blinding. Your body slumps against the wall, desperately leaning into it for support. I guess it kind of makes sense since she's like in her ghost form right now. The two of you are being incredibly rude. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I live here, along with him and him. Fucking and... guy. Well, I've never been clear on whether or not he lives here. <laughs> you know, we should be welcoming to... <laughs> I don't think... I don't think she any kind of convincing... <laughs> I don't think we can do anything to convince her <laughs> at all. I think she hates our guts. I don't know, opportunist. I think it's I think it's time to cut it. I don't think this is how 
helping. We should try to keep a low profile. Yeah, let's file. just not egg her on. <laughs> I just want to tell you how great a job you're doing. You're a real go-getter, really seizing destiny it's by the throat not. and making it yours. Oh it's my the kind god. Of gumption a guy can really admire. <laughs> I told you I don't like that shit. Stop fucking flirting with me, it's not working. <laughs> not with the girl, we stabbed you in the chest. Okay, not the back. Okay, let's let's not start putting words in our mouth. That was then. This is now. I'm a big fan of winners, and you're the biggest winner around. Did I? You know, I got a thing for skeleton girls, too. I'll have you know that as soon as we wound up back in the woods on this go around, I suggested that we freeze. <laughs> I'm on your side. You know, all those other voices, they didn't like you. But I, you know, I was the one who was like, maybe we shouldn't stab. We should let her go. She's so pretty and cool and slay. <laughs> At the end of the day, I just want a job. I figure if he's right and you're going to end the world, there's got to be something <laughs> else coming after all that. And I want to make sure I have a place helping you run it. This fucking guy, dude. <laughs> I feel like he would do well in, like, cap capitalism. <laughs> he's just, like, takes any opportunity he can, doesn't care who he steps on to get there. Oh, my God. It is kind of cool to see her actually interact with the other voices now. I think you should stop talking. Mm -hmm. Look, all I'm saying is that whatever comes after is going to be a hefty management task. You don't want to do all that alone. Oh my goodness. And I, no, we are the only people you know. Mm -hmm. Possibly the only people left alive once you've done whatever <laughs> it is you're going to do. So you'll have to hire us. You'll have to like it. We're the only people that exist. we got to become besties. We're going to die. No, we're going to do something worse than dying. She's going to torture us out of existence, and it's all going to be your fault. I just know that I want to be the co-manager. What was it? Like, oh yeah, assistant to the manager? What was it? I think that was in the office. I want to be the assistant to the manager. You can let these other voices die. We don't have to let her out. I've been storing up a little bit of will since she forced her way in here. Take it. Throw us all into the basement. It's better than giving her what she wants. You you now. Ooh! Ah. Still slumped against the like wall. She's breaking our limbs to get us to move. The overwhelming will and the blinding pain of your splintered ankle takes an excruciating oh, yeah, step towards the cabin door. The movement is stiff. Your body reduced to a marionette, Ugh. pulled reluctantly along by your strings. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Just because the ankle's broken, that's where the noise is coming from. It's not that bad. The pain is <laughs> 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 She's kind of a girl boss, though, still. <laughs> I can take this pain since I know you feel it. <laughs> Oh god, let's just fucking leave you the cabin. The last of your will aside, I'm with the opportunist. Surrender. I don't want to piss her off anymore. I guess that's that. It's for the best, really. Maybe we'll find our freedom on the other side. Oh my god. Hear that, boys? A mercy. Mm -hmm. That's the sort of reward you get with me. Just stick with me and you'll rise all the way to the top. Your body inches Lord. along the corridor. Every step more difficult and painful than the last. Your joints stiff and unresponsive, the shattered bones of your ankle grinding ceaselessly, as if they're fragmenting, then reforming, then snapping all over again as you make your way towards the outside world. <laughs> Literally popping and locking her body. She's just like Ray, a girl boss. She just wants us to pop and lock. That's it. <laughs> Despite the anguish, it doesn't feel like the exit to the cabin is getting any closer. If anything, it's getting further away. Interesting. I was like, it does seem like it's getting farther. Uh. 
Please, just let her out. I guess it's kind of like, we're just going to keep... She's gonna, <laughs> we're going to just be walking down this hallway forever instead of falling this time. Except this time we get to feel excruciating pain. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Pointless, isn't it? I can't stop her without you, and you'd already given <sighs> up by the time we met. What if we just jump out a window? No, no, screw that. The mm. hallway gets even What the fuck, you narrator? <laughs> it was you doing this! <laughs> oh, uh -huh. I can do that too! It really oh my is, god. Isn't it? Uh, oh, it's all broken. Jeez. Isn't saying all of this his <laughs> I'm the narrator now! <laughs> <laughs> That's just how it is. Oh, don't worry about all the criticism. You're doing great. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> you know now. I decided that I like you. This is it then. Oh God. Finally, we'll get to see what's really out there. Uh. Nothingness. It does seem like, yeah, if she leaves or we die, it just the loop re resets. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> I think the hand name is be like, what the fuck did you bring me this time? <laughs> I don't know if I want this one. But as you step outside the bounds of the cabin, you feel another violent tear. A ringing that cuts all the way down to your soul. You are once again separated from everything that had nestled into the deep crevices of your body. From everything that isn't you. Yeah, us again. Couldn't have planned it better myself. <laughs> See, this is all because of my positive thinking. Everything is gone. Except her. Which means we made it to the end of the world. <laughs> we survivors. Such positivity. What? What? What is happening to me? Ooh, there we go. <laughs> it's like, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know if I want this one. But you don't answer before she's gone. Memory returns. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? I'll be nice to them this time. That mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Oh man, it's gonna be okay. Just trust me. You've been but here it feels before. Feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is gonna be the end of everything. It's calling us. And not in a good way. If they think it's bad, <laughs> I'm with them. Are you the opportunist? Thinks it's bad. In the end, it's whatever. It's not the end. Whatever is on the other side, it's gonna be nice. It's our girl, the love of our life. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. We trust you. Finally, we're going places. We're going places. And they're gone. You approach the mirror, gaze into your reflection. Oh yeah, Let's see what we look like now. Silence. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Ew, we're all like bony this time. You're unraveled. Interesting. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. It's our girl! <laughs> Be flirting with her in this form. You're at the cabin. Approach her. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. I am curious to see what it means for us to know it. Do you think there are other people out there? Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? Do you have thoughts on this vessel? Yeah, what do you think about this one? This one is loneliness turned mm. to seething. <laughs> True. She could not find her strength in others, mm. so she found it in herself. She will make for a driven heart. What did you do to this one? She has a lot of hate in her heart. Do not mourn her. She isn't alone anymore. I guess she's joining the other princesses, so that's nice. Do you think there are other people? There are people out there. It doesn't matter if there are. People are too small for us. Mm. You and I are the only things that interest me. I'm not a people? Do you think that anything is real out there? Do you think that we're real? Sometimes I really do think like we're in the world of a book. We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. 
but nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. I feel like that's a loophole. Do you know what's going to happen when you awaken? If I did, I would already be awake. When you send me back, I'm not alone. There are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I call him the narrator, and he wants me to kill you. Do you have a narrator? Have the vessels had one? No. Their minds are empty, existent, but constantly shifting into something new. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? I don't know. He is so confusing. <laughs> I just noticed her hands are holding up uh, <laughs> the skeleton hands. <laughs> um, do you think your narrator lives in the space beyond? He dies. I don't know why. I know that, but I know this for a fact. He doesn't always disappear right around the time we get the long quiet. He dies. I don't know what I'm going to do when I find him. He dies, and when I find him, you and I are probably going to have answers. When I find him, I'm going to kill him. He dies, but you're going to keep that to yourself. I think you and I are finally going to have answers. Do not look to one who fears me for your truth. The only answers worth knowing are those we can find within ourselves. I do like the music in this part. It's nice. How many more vessels do I need to bring? One. Oh. Whatever you bring me next will be enough. Okay. And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singular. A final multitude. Okay, are we at the end? If this is the last time, is there anything you would like me to bring you? These gifts are a conversation, and each one shows me the contours of your heart. The only thing I want to see is what you choose for me when the thread is fully drawn. If this is the last stage before your completion, then I'm not going back. I'm just going to stay here. Um, I'm cool. I'm cool with going back. I want to see your final form. <laughs> this isn't even my final form. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. I will be here mm. waiting for you. Damn. Okay. I was like, I knew this game was pretty short. I wasn't sure if we were to finish it in one stream, but it kind of seems like we might be able to. Everything goes dark and you die. Knew it would probably be like two or three at the most. You're on a path. Okay, I think it's time woods. to just ditch. <laughs> the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to slay her. If we haven't just tried to leave it yet. Seriously, you're just going to turn around and leave. Do you even know where you're going? No, I don't know. Um. Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin. Nope. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin. Nope. Yeah, I, I definitely know where I'm going. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going. I am not going back to that damn cabin. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying mm -hmm. little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Kind of interesting we start out with the hero That's voice. <laughs> it looks like this path. Oh my also god. To the cabin. <laughs> How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can be saved. <laughs> this guy just screwing with me. I forgot he could just do it. <laughs> okay, I turn around again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like dies dies forever i don't care i'm not killing the princess quietly continue Your down the path is deafening but fine what's up I turn around and trek back down the path you came oh my goodness peanut oh would you look at that happen <laughs> again now i'm not normally one for superstition or astrology but i have to say Whoa. it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation <laughs> with the princess it's just you you turd there's no fighting this okay yeah well i guess i'll start walking in a different direction again in fact i'm gonna keep trekking through the wilderness until i find a way out of this there's place there's always a choice let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who's ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. It has not been a good time. Besides that one time she was the damsel. Every other time it sucked pretty hard when I went in there, so I'm good. Let's and go. Here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's mm. little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. 
but oh. as you focus oh, what the? on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An mm. infinite fracture of paths <laughs> and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. He's just screwing with me again, bro! Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths <laughs> or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about mm -hmm. irritating me than you do about the fate of the that world. That is true. I do like irritating the narrator. That is kind of the main thing that I like doing. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Oh damn, she just ends the world already. I saw somebody say dig. I was like, <laughs> we could try that. Probably just like dig and then fall through. Oh, that's crazy. You landed on the cabin. Okay, the stranger. She really did end the world. You're on a path in the woods and you're here to slay Okay, I'm getting deja vu. Sense of deja if he doesn't remember what happened, then I don't know. Okay. It's more fun if he knows what we're mm -hmm. thinking. He's like a captive audience. The contrarian. He's gonna disagree with everything. The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. I'm not slaying her this time. Last time was too scary. I want her to be nice and cute anime kawaii girl again. Those walls were in here last time. Oh, there, what the fuck? There's walls. You can't just... Oh, <laughs> that's why he did that so he wouldn't run away again. You do remember what happens last time then, stupid narrator. You're just lying. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm sure those walls have always been there. It oh my god. If, about it. if there weren't just any walls gas walls, lighter. someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto it's the like, princess. He really does seem like he can control everything, I guess, besides the princess. Is that why he needs us specifically to kill her? But he can just make walls up here, make cabins, you know, go everywhere. Like, why can't you just slay the princess yourself? You want to do it so bad? Yep, okay, head into the cabin now, where I'm definitely going to slay the prince. <laughs> just keep not doing it. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. A so, warning. There it is. Before you go any further, she will lie. She will cheat. Yeah, We're yeah, stuck yeah. Going in there. Maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. I don't know if I should visit her. Just keep trying to, you know, walk around. <laughs> what happens if I just keep walking Boy, around? He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Okay, we can't this time. I guess it makes sense. The cabin interior oh, what the is hell? wrong. Ugh. A confusing patchwork of many cabin oh. interiors Ew. all projected across what's almost the same space. It's like... But it's all shifted. Oh. An inch here, a foot there, <laughs> such that the seams are never quite visible Did enough. Did we break the, the time continuum? Oh. The only furniture of note is a plain table, its legs all the wrong lengths, mm. its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table, the blade is your implement. If he wants us to take it, Maybe we should just leave it to collect mm. dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out <laughs> the window. What good is a knife against yeah, a world-ending monstrosity anyway? I kind of like that one. Let's throw it out the window. We're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and oh, no man. idea what we're dealing with. I don't want to take the knife. I want her to like me this. I don't want her to be mean again. I want nice kawaii princess. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. But when everything here is so wrong, listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. 
And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen mm-hmm. if we lose ourselves? <laughs> I like him. He's kind of a shitster. Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay mm, calm. Freaky. Oh, there's like a hole in the floor, too. Now, even if we closed our eyes, you're Goes constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. I think that's like different, um, the cabins, man, are like different materials this time, too. It's like, there's wood, dirt, stone, it's like a mixture of all of them. Interesting. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we'll all wait. Okay, let's go to the mirror. Uh. You walk up to the wall next to the bed. What are you talking about? Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward. As and always. Now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from <laughs> us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. He does leave before we go through the mirror every time uh, as well. Interesting. Definitely is something there. Enter the basement. The door to the Ooh, <laughs> labyrinth. A web of branching staircases, oh all built from unidentified. Is she gonna be materials. scary again? Can she be cute? <laughs> Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. All the dimensions coming together! If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. <laughs> he always says that, dude. Her voice. I feel like there's something like. A quieting collage of tone and personality drags yeah. up the stairs. I feel like there might be some kind of importance of him always saying that, because I feel like it's like one of the only lines he just like says every single time. Like, it doesn't matter like how the area changes or what, he always says that line. Hello? Hi. Oh. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? Oh no, she sounds scary again! Mm, no, no, thank you. <laughs> Don't be such a baby. I'm with Hero. Let's go walk around the forest until we die again. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels yeah. like a trap. Like, what? We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways <laughs> to ruin his death. <laughs> I like him. He likes screwing with the narrator. <laughs> okay, take the hard steps. Oh, center, stairs to the right. I don't know if this stuff really matters too much, but let's do center this time. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. Mm. I guess, I wonder if she's like pissed off this time since um, we left her. I wasn't really sure how she would react to that, if she would like be happy we didn't, you know, come to kill her. But I guess we also just like left her there to rot, so I guess she's probably not happy. You concentrate oh, well. on where you are. Careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. And so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct mm. pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down, or up, Okay. or maybe sideways. Did we choose the wrong path? Are we going to be walking forever? But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. Mm. Oh, what the hell? You slowly Wait. lose sense of yourself the further you go. Uh, we... <laughs> yeah. Time disappears. 
and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced mm. are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous okay, march it's forward getting like less and less detailed. Long forgotten. She didn't know of... Uh, she didn't know of you, probably. Yeah, that's true. I kind of forgot. She doesn't remember anything. Consumption and betrayal. Mm. Skepticism and blind devotion. Rivalry and submission. Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. Ugh, these are kind of freaky looking. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... What? Oh, what the? What the hell was <laughs> what that? The? What happened <laughs> Oh, she kind of looks cute again. <laughs> okay. I guess we're here! I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. <laughs> I think we were walking down those stairs for like a hundred years! Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. Can I mute you, narrator? I'm not I'm not listening to you. We're saving and, her. Uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself mm. on the way down. You know, it's kind of hard to remember what happens when you've been walking downstairs for 200 years. <sighs> you're here to... <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down here was weird. Like I was pulling apart and pulling back together. Do you know what happened to me? I kind of want to ask her. I don't remember what it was like before I was in this place. Oh. Why would I know what happened to you? Oh, very like deadpan voice this time. <laughs> oh, what the we fuck? I'm here forever, aren't we? There's no way out. I'm barely a way in. Okay, oh, we're gonna stick every version of her? As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, <laughs> there is now another. We definitely broke space and time. I guess it's because, like, it's our fated encounter and a meet with her, so just, like, not doing it, just completely, you know, <laughs> broke the fabric of the universe. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? <laughs> you said you'd been here before, right? Mm. What exactly happened? Kind of cool, we can time? move her. Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. Mm -hmm. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here and you need to do it now. Well, she does look cute still though. Ooh, new plan! Let's see if we can make even more of them. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> There's more of you now. There must be something wrong with you. Mm. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. Mm. I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. Do you like the indifference princess? <laughs> oh, What's God. That supposed to mean? There's another one. trying to get under my skin? She fractures again. Ooh. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already Bro, are. Bro, we couldn't even slay one of her. Now there's three. I think we're definitely screwed. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. Can we even leave this place? I don't like thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those stairs. Yeah. <laughs> What's another 500 years? Well, that's where the blade is. If you want it, you'll have to go and get it. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? It's like everything we say just multiplies her. Yeah, for real. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. And what's your name? <laughs> oh, God, I'm getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust you. Wait, why? Wait, all of these are one answer? What the hell? Well, that's weird. It's because we broke space and time. <laughs> What's your name? Princess, you can address me as your royal highness or her majesty. Oh. Any honor if it should do, really. They're all taking turns talking, I think, too. I just kind of want to see how many more we can get. It doesn't matter. I've been down here for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? None of them have names. How astute. I told you she was untrustworthy. For all I know, you're locked up Is here for a place? good reason. If you're here, then surely you know why I'm here. But you know, right? You have to know. 
You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please mm. just end this already. One way or another, just do it. Getting like every version of her, almost. <laughs> at least there is a nice version of her. I guess she's more like traumatized than nice, but yeah. Oh God! We both know why oh God, no, not her! monster the second i get out of this place i'm going to end the entire world oh god not her again okay this was fun for a bit but we can't <laughs> even really interact with her can we what's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers that's the fun part man i can't even follow what's going on anymore we need to get out of here this whole place is making me itch Okay. If I let you out of here, what are you gonna do? I don't think I can answer that question in a way you'd find meaningful. Maybe we'll get the Kawaii version if we ask another one. Oh I god! I just want to live my life. Oh, there she is! There's the nice one! I'm not going to dance for you. Besides, you already know what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's so true, girly. If you want to put an end to me, then put an end to me. Not a single real answer. At least aside from Miss Blood and Destruction. It's infuriating, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it looks so cool when you move it around. Whose buttons are there for us to press? Whose skin is there for us to get under? Not exactly how I put it, but I don't disagree. There must be something we can do. Asking questions just seems to make things worse. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. <laughs> I feel like the country is pretty rational out of uh, most of the voices. Him and Paranoid. Okay, we're doing all of these <laughs> options at once. Wait, that's not right. Oh my god, I thought it was glitched for a second, but I don't think so. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands. Are we gonna see like different? Multiple. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. It'd be kind of interesting to see us doing all the options at once, like just for different princesses, like slaying her, saving her, locking her up. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You oh! Blade suddenly in your hands. <laughs> we are oh, seeing it! it. That's cool! Bindings ...as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's like literally multiple different endings. Is this what the end of the world All at once. Like? What an unbearable mess. But this... Ugh. We, we can't... Ugh, looking weird. Do you not have anything? Oh, are they fusing? Oh, oh Jesus! A bit of wit right now. <laughs> girl, she's looking a little rough right there. <laughs> oh, girl. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all. Oh. Falls apart? Oh. Oh, girl. I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? Okay, so this is her other form. Oh, it kind of looks different here, doesn't it? It's because we're at the end. What happened to us? Oh. What are we? There are parts of us that are dead, and the others just don't fit. Oh, no. Oh, that's weird. That's kind of cool, though, the layered voices. We can feel them moving around in spaces they don't belong. It's all so uncomfortable. Lord. Did you do this? Did, did we, we do this? Can, can, you, pull can, can you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? I, I don't know. We should help her. <laughs> I think we did this. Can we help her? How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. Dear Lord. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Looks like some of these can't even, like, can she even open her mouth? It looks kind of like skin is going over her lips. Please, please. 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 Oh no, the nice one! It's gonna be okay! <laughs> oh god, I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. I guess I'll do my best! Oh no, yeah. Makes sense. Can we fix her? <laughs> what the 
I don't think so this time. But you'll never know if she hears your reply. She's gone. Memory returns. Gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Oh, man. Woo. We can just approach the mirror this time. No comfort for you guys. It'll be over soon. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. We're gonna see like a multiple of ourselves or something. Silent, <laughs> you broke her! <laughs> you were supposed to fix her, Weavy, and then you broke her. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. Eh, you are nothing at all? Oh. Didn't she say I couldn't be nothing at all, though? I thought that was what she said, right? Am I gonna disappear? Uh-oh. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. You refocus your gaze, and then you see it. A figure. A faint and veiled figure. Do I... What the hell? Is that a bird beak up there? Oh, yeah. Wait, am I literally just a bird? <laughs> I, I don't have hands anymore. You refocus your gaze, then you see it. A figure. A faint and veiled in shadow. Just beyond the reflection. Are you me? I think you know what I am. Oh, what the hell? The crack, a crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image and the glass in two. And then another crack forms, and another, and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. It does look like a crow. And then another crack forms, and another and another, turning the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. So you're the narrator. I was wondering if I'd ever get to see you. The narrator, yes. Hmm. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help, after all. An objective voice to guide your blade? Ew, is this some eyes? You're never supposed to see me. I, I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Hmm. I still can't really see you. <laughs> I see some eyes. Oh, shit. Oh, save scum? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. What are you? Are you something like me? If you're not me, then what are you? I have so many questions for you, bestie. Does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? Is he the mirror? Was that what it was? But, it, or is he the bird? I, yeah, yeah, I guess he's the mirror. That's what, that makes more sense. That's what I was thinking. Uh, if you have, I have so many questions for you. If you're not me, then what are I'm you? Never. Like you oh. have many. Somebody made you after all, and I'm what's left of him. Not that I'm the only one who can make that claim. I'm sure you've met many others like me. Like you. Oh shit! Okay! Okay! <laughs> go, 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 go! What is the princess? Did you make her too? She is the shifting mound, the ebb and flow, the capacity to change. She is transformation, or most of it. Her nature is why I had to die, for she becomes that which others perceive her to be. But an echo can't perceive things, not in the way that people can. So I tucked a part of myself into the folds of this construct to guide you. Oh, okay, yeah, it's like a... You can see the mirror and, like, the bird talking in the reflection of the mirror. This isn't the end just yet. It's like, I see teeth! You can still destroy her and save everyone. You were made to do this single task, and you will still have a chance to fulfill your purpose once I'm gone. Oh my... Do I trust? I don't know! Oh god, okay. If I destroy her, won't I be alone? Yes, you will. It will all be worth it. But it's a love story! That's what the game told me! Why would you want me to destroy the concept of transformation? Because among other things, she is death itself. To rid the world of suffering, to save untold trillions from being lost forever to the cosmic wind, she must be destroyed. I wonder if we have... God, there's so... Oh my god! Holy fuck, there's so many questions! Why would you want to rid the world of death? Who cares about dying? I've died plenty of times. I'm pretty sure death is a good, actually important even. You call this place a construct. What is it supposed to do? I didn't realize I had so many questions to choose from. I thought I could just go through all of them, but I guess not. You destroy her. How is that existence any better than death or even different from death? Do you have anything to say for yourself for all this hubris? After everything you've done to us, do you think you deserve, do you think anyone deserves to live? Do you know what things, that things won't be worse if I destroy her? What would it be like to live in a world without her? Light. Burdenless. 
an eternal pattern of forgetfulness leading into the joys of rediscovery. Everyone will be with the ones they love. No more fear. No more howling chaos. Mm. Just life. Forever. Sounds like heaven or something. There's a cruel irony to it all. The only way I could share my dream with the world was to never be able to see it for myself. Oh my gosh. Um, have I? I have so many. I have so. I definitely don't want to waste that one. Sorry, I don't want to destroy you. Will it help if I look away or stop asking questions? Are you a part of me? Are you something else? No, I am not a part of you. But that's all a matter of perspective, isn't it? From one vantage point, I must seem wholly foreign, but from another, well, all the versions of me that have existed have collectively heard your every thought mm. and driven your every action. If that isn't being part of you, then what is? Okay, so you did remember everything. Well, I guess I kind of figured that out at this point. If I destroy her, how is that existence any better than death or any different from death? Honestly, it feels worse. I'm trying to see versions of you. You've said that before, so I... Really was, okay, wait, no, so, so I was meeting different versions? I guess like shards of the mirror or something. You were, and it was by both necessity and design. This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Anytime you failed, anytime you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. You'll be awake soon. Let's try to use this in many places at once. Anytime you failed, anytime you thought yourself dead, it would restart and stun both your consciousness and hers. Okay, so it was another world. After everything you've done, do you think anyone deserves to live? Oh my god, there's so many. Why did you make her a princess? I didn't make her a princess, but I wove the idea of her into something your scattered mind could fathom. You chose for that something to be a princess. Oh god. Uh, so many! Um, how am I supposed to destroy an abstract con- yeah, for real. I think they must leave this place. Does that work? Can we just stay here together and leave people out there alone? Oh my god, the love story ending! It work. Her nature as the shifting mound makes it so nothing can last forever as it is now. It wouldn't matter how long the two of you waited. Eventually she would find a way to leave. And then everything would change. Everything would face oblivion. Until then, the clock ticks on. <laughs> Death of an author, run out of questions. Oh no! Say nothing to him. Oh gosh, yeah, we are pretty uh, rest easy. I'm going to destroy her. I think you're out of time. Oh, I can't answer. Oh, I can't ask anything else. Damn it. I'm not gonna slay her. I don't know what to do! What do I do, chat? <laughs> Should I kill her? Ah! Oh god, I can lie. I can say it rest easy and destroy her lie. <laughs> uh, it is a love story. That was what the game said, right? Uh, say nothing and watch him in. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. I still have to see what she thinks about all of this. <laughs> I guess that's me. I guess that's me. I feel like I probably should kill her, but... I don't know, we bonded so much. She seems like she likes me. Oh god. Okay, let's save. Okay, okay. I've said my piece, and my time is up. It's like I said, I'm just an echo. And echoes always fail. <sighs> you know what you have to do. Aww. Kinda sad, seeing him close his eyes. It's like, I didn't know the narrator was a little guy. <laughs> now that I see his little bird form, I'm like, oh, I like him. As the uh, final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. You are the long, quiet, a vast, oh, what the fuck? And it is finally time for you to wake up. All of this is you. Oh, whoa. Proceed to the cabin for the last time. Bring the stranger to her. When you arrive at the heart of things, there is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There is nothing for you to find. But I know she's here. Somewhere. Ah! Oh, Lord! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Oh my god. She kind of looks pretty though. I finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. <laughs> she, looks so, she looks like pretty but scary at the same time. <laughs> Oh my god, like it looks cool though with all the, I don't know, versions of her kind of like climbing and stuff. She does seem to love me. <laughs> I don't know man, I guess I might go with the love story ending. <laughs> I miss you too. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear a conversation? I guess like, <laughs> would destroying the concept of change, like, or transformation, like what? I don't know, is that really good? For the world? I don't know. I, you know, she's pretty. She's scary. She's pretty. Fuck it. I miss you too. She unfurls an endless cascade of smiles in response and then patiently waits for you to continue. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear a conversation? I'm the long quiet, but I don't really know what that means. Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually am. Your hair is pretty. Oh, it's kind of like, oh, her hair is really like a, just a bunch of little hers, but you're just seeing the back of their hair. The ultimate wife. Because <laughs> she's every waifu in one. Do you know about the echo? Did you hear a conversation? Every word you spoke found its way to me. Oh. I know him, and I know his construct. He was deluded by his fear of death. Pay him no mind. Interesting. Okay, I guess if we said like, oh, don't worry, I'll kill her, then uh, she would have, I wonder what she would have thought then. Are you sure about that? She didn't get mad before when I told her I was gonna kill her, but that was a while ago. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. Hmm. But it's woven into your nature. Breaking Isn't... the fourth wall a little bit, <laughs> player. When the echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice, and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitude. Okay. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? There are so many stories we can le we've left unfinished. Can we really just leave? Don't you have a say in all this? Why is this all fa falling on me? Let's talk this through. I still have so many questions. I was thinking about- No! I don't know! I don't want to slay her. I think I want to leave with her. I guess I can keep talking to her. I told you what was going to happen when we reach this point. Slay. This is- It's Slay! <laughs> there has to be another way. This can't just come down to either destroying or letting you out. I won't do it. We get to leave together, right? <laughs> right? That makes it romantic. If you were always going to become this, then- what was the point of me doing anything? Did it even matter what roads I walked if all of them would lead to this moment? If you're saying that, it's because you don't yet understand. But we cannot use words alone to grasp at things that words cannot express. And you cannot rationalize with logic that which defies it. Ooh. Violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. If oh. this is what it takes to enlighten you, oh no, then so be it. Oh girl, what? I just I was just hesitating for a second. I just wanted to talk. Why we gotta fight? What the fuck? There is no beginning to them, nor is there an end. There is only the flood. Oh shit! And every moment you hold every possible sensation at once, and then you hold them all again. And in the end. You returned it to me. For a brief moment, you were everything. Oh no. A chaos that needed ordering. But without chaos, there is no I just hesitated for a second, girl! You just wanted to talk a little bit! I can't understand you then, but I think I understand you now. I want to gauge with Violet. You seem in pain. I'm sorry for what I did to you, but it was the only thing I could do. I saw with a single pair of eyes what I needed dozens to comprehend. Heart, lungs, liver, nerves. <laughs> Each with millions of eyes, and all of them opening to what we are. Oh shit! Oh no, not that one! She's a vehicle, and the joy of the flesh is the strength of the spirit. 
Jesus. out of fear. I'm not afraid of you anymore. That is why I resist you now. I fear you now more than ever. I was glad to set you free. Uh, I was glad to set you free? Then set me free again. Okay. Set both of us free. She's kind of scared. Maybe I shouldn't set her free. I was like, yeah, I'm going to set her free so we can go together. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Okay. Okay. Stop the fight early and surrender. I don't know what to do. Okay, 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 okay. She's kind of scary though. Ah, okay. Let's just, I'll just reload if I want to fight her some more. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. What are you guys talking about the look? Did I like miss it? Was it just like something that I missed when I looked away for a second? Free yourself. Keep fighting? Everybody's saying keep fighting. Ah! I already chose this. I think I saved though, right? I think I saved earlier. I don't know, did I go back? Ah, crap. I don't know if there is... Oh, no, I can't load right now. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature stirs from its hibernation. You feel a sensation in limbs you once couldn't fathom. Everything here except for her is you. You feel your wings spanning a cosmic scale, but twisted and crumbled and bound in agonized tension to a finite plane. You can feel the glass of you can feel the glass of the construct pressing in on you confining you across infinite sides and infinite angles you push back and strain against it but it does not yield you. yay <laughs> did we did, did we fix her okay kind of she, just, she seems nice at, all at once the unyielding tension breaks Mm, what the? You are free, and she is with it's you. Magnificent. What is that? Is that grass? There are no words, no thoughts to describe absolute reality. Something that simply is. What happens now? Everything. Just like it always has been. And just like it always will be. Step into the infinite. You and she step forward into a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets, each of which contains a thousand more. You exist and you are aware, just as you always have been, and just as you always will be. It's like a nice romantic route. I just don't want to piss her off anymore because I was like, I don't know if I can romance her anymore <laughs> if, like, if uh, I keep trying to fight her. Oh, is that what the grass stands for? Fi touch grass. Like, wow, did you really just spend four and a half hours playing this game? Go touch some grass, you weeb. <laughs> Through conflict is... Though conflict is in your nature, the two of you will never be alone. The two of you will never know fear. You and she are finally home. That's kind of cute. There are no endings. Only new beginnings. Okay, sweet. That's nice. That was fun. Yeah, I remember seeing online that, like, uh, it took about four hours to like beat the game, but I think there's like 10 hours of content in total, so I think there might still be a lot of stuff. I think I saw some of you guys mentioning too that there was like, I guess other, I guess different versions of her that I guess I could collect next time if I decide to play through it again. That was fun though, definitely a very uh, interesting game. Very uh, unique. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. Still kind of confused about some of the lore though. <laughs> For sure. Thanks to our little creatures. 
Snake and Spoon. Oh, that's cute. Oh, we only got an axolotl. That's so cute. You were playing as an expression of our gratitude. Here's a track order for a special playlist just for you. If you'd like to take a screenshot, you can hide the UI by hitting H. Oh, that's cool. I guess I can take a screenshot really quickly. Okay. Oh, join the Discord. Okay. Okay, interesting. Follow us somewhere else. Somewhere else. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. It just takes to your website. Okay, that's cool. I guess we return the main menu then. Okay, cool. That was fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. It was a pretty fun game for sure. Um, I guess we can maybe try to do some of the other stuff next time. This is only part one. Gotta play again to find out everything. There's a tons of options. What is the look? I'm so confused on what that is. <laughs> oh my god. Play some other time for the- What is the look? I need to know what this is. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need to know what this is. The goddess root. Okay, yeah, I guess I can play again next week and then try to get some more stuff because, yeah, like I said, I think there was like 10 hours of content from what I remember, so... There is a decent amount of stuff to go through. Definitely an interesting game. I'm glad we decided to check it out. Um, yeah, thanks guys for stopping by. It was for sure a trip, but I think I fixed her. I don't know no, if she needed fixing. I don't. <laughs> what is? <laughs> what is going on? The look. The look. Okay, I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it next time. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of other possible princesses and two other endings. Okay, cool. I'll definitely try to uh, check that out next time. Thanks guys so much for uh, joining. I know it's a bit of a different game than I usually play. But um, yeah, I definitely, um, you know, enjoyed checking it out. And um, I will have some more has been videos going up this week. Probably Tuesday. Well, definitely Tuesday. And then probably the next day will be like Friday for uh, the finale. Um, it should go up then, and then, yeah, hope you guys enjoy those! And, yeah, we'll definitely, um, you know, continue, I guess, next time! Hope you guys have a good rest of your week, and let me, um, try to get some of the stuff set up. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later!